Hey everyone, and welcome back to NZ Mod. Let me just bring myself a drink over here. Don't worry, just Pepsi. So, yeah. No drink, drink. I don't drink at all. Oh, now the dog's outside my door. Okay, but anyways, um, yeah, I was recording Ravenhurst today, the first three episodes. I wanted to get all six done. Like, I wouldn't be able to go Ravenhurst Saturdays, Darkness Falls Sundays. And unfortunately, yeah, I was only doing, able to do three, but I also got after the three episodes, like a day's worth of mining done. So I got, I think, like 10.7k oil shale. So that's going to last us a while. And I'm getting like my, oh guys, in that mod, we're finally starting to get stuff done. But as you guys know, uh, I have a mod from Aramis. He's, uh, he made Outback Roadies and Prepocalypse. And he also helps with like a ton of other modlets. I think he even helped with NZ. And he sent me a modlet that allows us to make the max zombie spawn during Horde Night instead of 64, 96. Oh. Tuesday's episode is going to be the day 35 Horde. And you guys want to check that out. It is huge. But yeah, um, overall, we're starting to get better. I'm actually going to start doing those infested things. Those ones that were completely wrecking me before. And um, yeah, hopefully we survive. <laughs> okay, let me just make sure the sound and everything is working. working. One of these days I'm going to be talking like this and the sound will not be on. And I'm going to be like, oh crap, what now? I've been talking for like five minutes and the sound wasn't on. Okay, and this. I think a reason why my webcam sometimes rubs this shoulder out is because my the webcam, this, that's the middle. It was on this side. So it wasn't picking up this corner properly. Now that I moved it a little bit, all of a sudden it seems like it's doing okay. Okay, uh, put in that message, join Discord, press push to mute, and then join the server. Hey guys. Sean. Hey. hey. How's it going, John? Doing well, thanks. And you? Just got back from work, so I'm good. I just got done um, uh, spending like a whole in-game day in Ravenist uh, mining. Ooh. So, yeah. That's fun. <laughs> um, did, did you show it? Is it on when you're... Uh... Serious? Uh, no, the so I, did you? Yeah, I went mining. It's I faced the first. It's the first three episodes. The second episode is me facing the day thirty-five horde. Uh, third episode is me doing a farm with a lot, a lot of ferals, and then I decide to go mining in between that and the next episode. Um, but I'm gonna show the progress and where I'm mining everything as well. How is the mining? Um, you're using it, that iron pickaxe, right? The one you made. Yeah, I think it's it's, it's about. Uh, I'm doing about six to seven shots. It's it's almost six shots with a, a 401 quality iron pickaxe, and that has two mods on. With a green one, you can only have one mod on, and it does like seven shots. Uh, yeah, there's this. It's gonna be a while before that one goes up. But the only way you for me to do more damage now, yeah, the only thing I need to do now is I need to. Basically, I don't have a stone breaker mod, and I think that would have helped me a lot more. But I do have a, uh, have an ergonomic grip and a structural brace mod. So just to learn, uh, not make it break too easily, I basically mined 10.7k yeah. oil shale. Did you uh, check to see if you could put that bladed mod that has that 10% uh, increase? In block damage. Or no, 50, it, yeah. It can't go on a pickaxe. Oh, can't? Because I a, know that's the first thing I tried, actually. Can. Yeah, that's the first thing I tried because I know that it increases block damage. It can go on shovels, though. I should actually put it on the shovel. Because the, with my That's shovel, something. I have a purple shovel, and it does uh, a whole block damage, except for like 8 HP. So I think if I had Ooh. that mod on, I would have been able to one-shot it. Yeah. See, it's almost Horde Night again. In my Ravenhurst playthrough, I found it a quality 970 hunting knife. Damn. On like day three <laughs> or something like that. Wow. <laughs> but make sure not to use it too much, or put. Uh, make sure you go for structural brace mod as soon as possible. Um, and How also, many... Yeah. I got another four, level 400, and when I got a, uh, that was for completing some quest or whatever it was, um, some Ravenhurst quest, and then I combined that once it got low, and now it's like 940. Yeah. So like, the, basically, the more you go now. into the knife skill, if you were to use the 900 until it almost breaks, then you use the other one until it almost breaks, and then you repair the lower quality one and combine them. You get the best out of that. Oh, okay. Yeah, you get a lot more use out of them. Yeah, basically. The yeah, basically the the weaker one. If you repair it fully, it will lose a lot of durability, but it will add more. Like it, it will lose less on the maximum one if you combine a better quality, like a fuller quality. Oh. 
Yeah, oh. it was almost full health anyway. Okay, okay. so it's got to be the health has got to be full. The endurance of the item, item needs yeah. to be full, not the. Okay. Because quality wise, you um, want to um, use the one with the highest quality to merge. That'd be your main yeah. um, item, right? Yeah. Okay. So basically, well, it, you. you, it's you gonna, yeah? It doesn't matter. It's just going to come up with a combination of the two. And it's going to. The, the higher quality one is you're going to get one that's less than the higher quality one but with more durability left it doesn't matter if you put the yeah less quality one first in the higher quality yeah one. just make sure you use both oh. uh, both you want to yeah. use make sure you break i almost break both of them repair the weakest one and combine it to the uh, strongest one because that will uh, that will allow you Try to that. get a little bit more uh, out of the uh, combine Unfortunately, you don't gain levels, well, you only lose, but you lose less. Yeah. Say, for example, you add a level 200 to a level 700. If that level 200 is almost broken, it's not going to really help prepare the, other, the, the higher quality. But if it's like a full quality 200, it will, will be way, way better for the combine. I went clubs, and it's I, I can make baseball bats now. So it's the baseball bat's actually pretty good. You can knock zombies down almost every time with a power attack. Of course, I don't go out questing at night, so... <laughs> I see that um, TBF uh, is using a sledgehammer, which looks really promising. Although, I don't think... I don't know what uh, what level, what difficulty he's playing, basically. Because he mentioned in one of the videos, is everything's default. So I wonder if it's like default difficulty, too. Yeah, that'd be yeah, adventure. He's got loot respawn on. Yeah, that as well. Quests, let's accept quests. Why is the trader so broken? But I'm finally starting to get really good stuff now for the wards. Um, I mean, especially now that I have 10k uh, oil shell, I'll be able to make a ton of Molotovs. But that Horde Knight, day 35, I have Aramis's 96 Blood Moon installed. You should see the scores and scores of zom uh, zombies I'm getting during Horde Night. It's insane. Hello. Hey, Sam. Hello, Sam. Hey, Sam. Are you, are you streaming? Yeah, I'm streaming. Anyway. Yes. No, I forgot that I'm in the room. And then a little oh, sunset. Well, if you were swearing in Arabic, we couldn't tell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you think you can help? Really? And believe me, swearing in Arabic, it's uh, another new level. You have no idea about it. Uh -huh. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> you know why? Why? Because here in uh, Saudi Arabia, it's not like America. We don't have guns, so we have to use our tanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I Ooh. just finished watching the Formula One race before I logged on. Jetta. <laughs> What happened at this base? I'm guessing this is Fox's home. The ones with the snow biome trees planted out front? Yeah, and there's also two helicopters. <coughs> yeah, oh, this kind of cool. Uh, they're set to a motion sensor for any person, so when I'm walk by, uh, by the door opens up. But yeah, there's a lot of bags over here, so I think I'm wondering who got killed. They do have their uh, auto turrets, so I wonder if the auto turrets just clean them all up. Like an automated defensive, it's kind of cool. But yeah, I'm finally starting to make a lot of progress in uh, Ravenous, to the point where I'm actually considering now for the uh, Thursday's episode to actually attempt those infesteds, the super infesteds. Oh, nice. That spear seems to be pretty good. Does it pierce through multiple targets? Um, I haven't noticed it's uh, particularly pierced, but it's supposed to, so yeah, I, I think it has been. Oh, okay. Yeah, I went with the club the first couple times, but I don't know. I just want to try that spear for the distance. That's weird. The 556 five, seems to only be the lever, uh, lever action uh, rifle. <clears throat> I have so many of those rounds, but if it's just for that rifle, I don't know what's the point. Yeah, that recycler, right? Yeah, I have the recycler. Yeah. It actually helps a lot. The amount of stuff that you I've been able to recycle. recycle. Damn. No groups. Oh, 
Uh, I'm really busy with the quest right now. It's infested and I'm getting a lot of boss spawns already from the start. Maybe you stint with those points. I already did. <laughs> it's two out of five. I think what I should do for Raveness is go back to that one POI that I failed miserably. We had like six HP left, so I had to run away. Because um, there, the zombies are still... Well, they spawned for the quest, and then I ran away. So they're going to still be tough. But that also means that super infested quest reward is still there. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, that's right. With all those <laughs> radiated bikers? Yeah. I we had to j uh, jump on the fence. I was like, no, there's no way. Because I had the sword of shotgun, but it wasn't doing any damage. Yeah, the shotguns don't really do much damage to the bikers because they're armored. Yeah. Unless you shoot them in the head. If I can just get a pump shotgun, uh, that's already going to help me stun them at least. Yeah, don't use the shotguns. <laughs> use the knife. <laughs> people, are go, yeah, people are getting so upset of, about the fact that I'm actually using a knife, but how? There's no. It's not going to work. You should use something else. The knife is actually working really well when it had the anti-rad mod on. Yeah. But then I lost the anti-rad mod. Well, yeah. in that in that uh, mod too, the bleed, it still has all those uh, bleed advantages to it. Goes yep. up to like five points for five different bleeds. So but I'm I mean, definitely going to need an anti-rad mod because I faced the boss in last week's episode and they just heal way too fast. I saw that. That was a boss? That Did was a boss. Did you check on that? Yep. Okay. I think even in his name it says boss. Uh, so it's a, it's a minotaur a dude. No, no, it's not a night terror. That's why I'm so confused. What is a night terror? Is it a boss and a nemesis? Is it going to be its own monster? You better hope not, because you've already that got thing, the nemesis and the other one. That thing wasn't a, a night terror? Oh, nope. Geez. That's just it a boss zombie? starts at game stage 300. So yeah, my game stage is now only 115. But isn't that game stage 300 at, at um, daytime? But at nighttime, it's there's a chance of them coming out? At, at nighttime, it's supposed to be game stage 150, yeah. But I'm actually really okay. worried because there's that was one boss, and there are a total of, I think, 12 or 13 bosses. And then there's like six or seven of those... Um, uh, what do you call those things? My brain just went... Uh, not Nemesis. Nemesis, Nemesis yeah. So there's, uh, there's supposed to be like eight Nemesis zombies. One actually looks like Venom, though. It's really epic. Oh, that looks cool. That'd be cool. See, now I'm going to have to go play that some more. I think my I first episode that. of the series, I basically showcased like, what the bosses look like and the Nemesis look like. But that's what's bothering me now. I made that update video showcasing that. And now apparently there's Night Terrors yeah, as maybe well. Maybe you're wrong. No, I, I wasn't wrong. They are bosses and Nemesis. But now they, that they, people are saying they are... Um, Night Terror is also going to show up. I'm like, okay, but wasn't that supposed to be the bosses and uh, Nemesis zombies? So that's the only thing where I might be wrong with that video is the fact that I didn't cover Nemesis. Uh, I didn't cover um, Night Terrors. The Night Terrors. So you don't know for sure yet whether those what those are yet then? Nope. Hmm. At least well, if the Night Terrors are something new, I can make a video. Like uh, that video where I face <clears> them, I can actually highlight that, uh, them as well. But apparently they, say, they actually say you have to make sure your base is fully reinforced uh, before you start getting those things. So I'm wondering if it's not just like the taller nemesis zombies. Because there's some of them that look like trees. Like they're massive, massive nemesis zombies. Or it could just be like an Alpha 20. Because in Alpha 20 there was a green um, Night Stalker. And that was a Night Terror. But, but, but I thought they removed Night Terrors because there was an update or oh, something about removing Night Terrors. And now all of a sudden they say it comes out at a certain game stage. I'm so confused. So is the Night Terror, apparently. <laughs> do I come out or do I not? I don't know. The thing is, I could easily just um, load up a single player game and go check out what they are, but I wouldn't be surprised. So far I've only faced two of the Nemesis ones. Uh, the red one and the one that came to my base with that weird looking mummy face. And then I faced one boss, that Minotaur dude. But there are so many different variations as well, so I can't wait to start facing them. There's a lot of tier 5 on the map that I made. There's a lot of tier 5 POIs right in that small little town. 
And there's a Sean Shack, a POI with the um, workbench out front. It's got, you, you go in through the basement, and then the, the main loot is up on the second floor. And the, uh, you fall through the floor when you go in there. Um, there's a working uh, table saw right there, so I was able to make those writable Yeah, all the table saws are working in the world. Yeah, so you can just make those writable storage right from the beginning instead of breaking them down. Yep. With nails and wood, and Wait. you can make planks and all that stuff. So you can make the writable right off the bat? No, 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 no. Uh, yeah. It just means that... Uh, to your fives. Yeah, in, a, in, a table, in a table saw, you can make storages. Yeah, I know, but uh, already writable from the start. That's what he was ask, uh, asking. That's tier five storages. Yeah. Tier five. I can make, well, it's it, not writable. It's uh, the uh, cupboards. Oh. Oh, yeah, okay. just normal. Sorry, yeah. I was about to say because tier five, you have to unlock them. <laughs> but you can make you you all you need is wood and nails. You don't even have to bother with the garbage bag things. Yeah, so you get those. It's basically the brown boxes that I had in the beginning of the series that I replaced the bags with. Is those. Uh, I could have done that as well, but I just I, I honestly never thought about it. I was like, let me just get my own to my base, and then uh, it's it's easier than actually having to um, drag stuff around, resources. Yeah. Well, I was, it, it's like 300 yards away. Um, so it, the, all of the, even when that, if I respawn, I do that POI for a quest, the table saw is still going to work. Yeah, so I, if, the the yeah if the table saw is part of the POI, it will always be working. And even if it doesn't, okay. you just wrench it and you can get it. Or well, I think you can actually break it, uh, just break it right with a pickaxe. Like the, the ovens, the toasters, the uh, fountains, the yep. coffee machines, all of them you coffee just break makers. with a pickaxe. Yeah. Oh, Although when it, comes, wrench, then? when it comes to the, um, the grills, those you uh, have to wrench. Because I, I use pickaxes crowbar, on those. Oh yeah, 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 sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah, you use a crowbar to pick it up. Use a wrench to get the propane tank, and you use a pickaxe just for the resources. That's why I when I broke crowbar. rules, I never got the pickaxe. I used a crowbar on one of the um, charcoal grills, and I got the grill and the propane tank on the very oh, first Oh, wow. Day. Wait, so you can actually... Okay, I thought it just picks it up. But I mean, it makes sense. It is a wrench as well. It's so basically like wrench. an upgrade to the wrench. <clears throat> so the wrench does both? Yeah. Yeah, and when you use the crowbar on vehicles, you get parts. Yeah. Like doors and side panels. That one was the one I wasn't uh, sure of because I wanted to get the motorcycle parts. But it sucks. Uh, getting a motorcycle is locked under level 60 salvage tools. Oh, wow. Because you have to get level 60 salvage tools to be able to unlock the ratchet. And that is the, basically the um, tool that you need. Although it's called something else in the bench itself. A socket. Yeah, it's, it's a socket ratchet. So they call it oh, a socket wrench, but it's, Yeah, basically that goes in the mechanics workstation. And you can make it though, right? The ratchet you can make, but only at 60 uh, salvage operations. So you need to wrench like crazy to up that as much as possible. It's almost like how with a stun baton you go Can't straight from problem. 20 usage to 60 usage. It's the same with the salvage operations. You have to get 20 first, and the next one's 60. So it's a massive up from the first level. With everything else, like knives and stuff, you go 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. I wonder how many people understand what we're talking about have, uh, that will have also tried the mod. Sam's going to build a bridge all the way over to my base. It's a shame that you can't use the crowbar to open up, um, or, or to rip boards off of windows. Because you know how you said you can oh, use a yeah. uh, crow, uh, you can use a claw hammer to rip boards off boxes. You can use a crowbar as well. So then you can have the crowbar on you for wrenching and for those boxes. But unfortunately, um, yeah, it doesn't do it for windows. Windows are still ten seconds. I never even tried to rip the boards off windows. I guess I'm. Always in a panic to get out of the room. <laughs> yeah, basically any barricade can be ripped off and it's uh, five minutes worth of fuel, so they're definitely awesome. But as long as you have a claw hammer or a crowbar on your hand, it's like one to two seconds for them to repeat it off, so it's way easier. If I knew that from the start, I would have been able to get so much more done. Yeah. 
But Iron Man's the type of guy that uh, he, he starts a new mod and he tests everything. <laughs> he figures yep. stuff out before he even starts playing. Well, he's yep. doing the thing where you get one death and then you restart. So he's been restarting uh, a few times. Trying to trying to uh, get that beginning start perfect yeah. so that it can just lead up into the rest of it. Well, basically, but I'm done with that, though. If you have the right classes and you have the right uh, like, uh, the right class and subclass and you start at like a really good shopping center or something then your series is set for your your experience if you look for example Archeries. yeah you could go archery Arch it depends on what, what you want to go for because i know if you go for automatics it gives you automatic um progression from the start yeah but you don't find enough bullets for anything to make it worthwhile the archery is easy to make and also, you want to get that leveled up so you can get access to making them other higher tier um, archery weapons. And if you don't do that in the beginning if, and wait until later on, you're going to be in a world of hurt trying to kill all those zombies. And you're just going to be pew-pewing the zombies and not doing much damage. And also, with all the zombies, you're going to need that sneak damage, which is what you're you're doing now. You're, you're noticing the sneak, and you can one-shot just about everything if you hit them in the head. So it's archery main and then mining for the frames alternate alternate um, craft not for the frames but oh, the it's frames for the, the, yeah. the excavator the ex excavator because that can get you resources while you're out doing it whatever right off the bat yeah. so you don't even have to worry about it. and you get those level 400 the um, um, scrap tools so that sets you off in a very good spot if you started that tesco shopping center that's um uh, TBF started at, then uh, you're, you're set, because that place has everything. And the back room, the, the factory actually has like a, a 50 to 60 or something containers. So as oh, long as wow. you have a, a claw hammer or whatever, you can grip those boards off. You have a ton of fuel. That's awesome. <laughs> but I have a question yeah, though. I... You know how the quests, like for example for the archer, I had to kill, mm -hmm. say, a certain amount of zombies to up it to, to the next uh, quest. So for, for example, it tells you to kill so many zombies with a primitive bow, then with a wooden bow, then a... Uh, Crossbow, then crossbow. Uh, compound bow, compound crossbow. It keeps going up, 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 up. Um, you know how you can use a Molotov to kill them, and then you just hold the uh, the weapon in your hand and it counts for that weapon. That's for yes. killing the zombies, for counting as kills. But does that yes. also go towards the progression of no. the weapon? No. No. I was actually not. I was actually testing it during Horde Night, but I couldn't figure out with my AK if I was getting everything from just killing the zombies or if I actually was getting it from the fire and the explosives. The EXP you get as in the skill progression is, is only based on hitting the zombie with, or actually it's not even hitting the zombie. It hitting the zombie it is, with that weapon. Just, just shooting the weapon. You can shoot at the wall and still get EX point, experience points. Because, uh, and I tested this, and if you think about it, that seems, you know, it's practical, logical, because yeah. you're still shooting the weapon. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what you're shooting at, as long as you're shooting it, which is going to gain you skill. But yeah. You're right. It's the actual shooting of the weapon that's going to get you the EXP for that skill progression. But the kills themselves, yes, vault off and hold that weapon. As you should see, I um, a little bit of a spoiler. Just before the Horde Knight, I realized, oh, my bow's already at 60. So I can make a compound bow, level 5 or 1. But uh, now I have to go from, crossbow, from an iron crossbow to a compound bow. Although I'm going from a blue crossbow to a purple uh, compound bow. But uh, you should see how much damage those arrows can do. Damn. You'd think the crossbow is way better, but because it's a compound bow, it does way more damage. Yeah, it shoots faster, doesn't it? Yeah. The problem is if you don't pull it back hard enough, then it doesn't do enough damage to the zombie. Now I have to be careful. This is a very dangerous spot. But I'm actually really enjoying that mod. Uh, Cone, what what uh, map are you playing? Uh, one I just generated. See, I tried generating one, and when you, I went into F1 to check it out. It had a lot of errors for this. Wonder why? It was, I didn't get errors. That, that was worrisome. With the, it was the advanced generator map, yeah. uh, 8K. But I wonder yeah, why uh, it shouldn't give any errors. So I just did a pre-gen. 
I'm going to try it again then. I'll probably try to make me another map and see. I don't know. I don't know. I've got a lot of other 8K maps that I've made before on other things, so maybe it's conflicting perhaps, with some of them. Uh, perhaps just check uh, when it, or if it throws another error. Just send us the screenshot of what the error says. Okay. And there's still vultures down here for some reason. I think. Isn't... I thought there were um specific maps for that. I think I, I think I am actually playing on a specific map. I only realized that when I told you. Yeah, but I um. Yeah, I think I'm playing the was it 10k or 8k? I can't remember which one I chose. But uh, I think yeah, I am. I, I think one. I am playing the uh, actual map for it. At first, I thought that I might have or uh, I might have created my own map. But, um, yeah, I usually, if I create my own map, I take away the hills and stuff, and there's definitely still hills and mountains. Yes. But definitely, as soon as possible, try making yourself a dirt bike. You can make it in the workbench. You don't need, like, the mechanics workstation. Um, it's super che uh, cheap to make, and it is fast. It's super, super, super fast. I think it's two and a half times faster than the mini bike, but it has a third of the storage. It's just frustrating to me that um, you don't have much to spend your points on. You don't get points quickly, but well, most you could of what technically... you want is under the action skills, which... But it depends, though. For example, uh, sneak damage. Uh, for example, that was under its own thing, away from the, uh, the action skills. So I keep forgetting that there are actually other skills that I can invest in as well. Space. If I sound preoccupied, it's because I'm sometimes when I'm paying attention to something so hard, um, I, I completely forget what I was busy saying. Or I lose track of my argument while I'm talking. Yeah. But it's weird. One day I'm completely like, um, clear, my mind is clear, and other and another day it's just completely fogged. Brain fog, man, brain fog. Totally fucked. I say sometimes I feel old. That's why I always say I feel so old. Because my brain, if you, if you just see how much I stutter and fall over my own words and stuff, I just, I, it's annoying. But I think it's also because I'm uh, doing so many series and stuff that I have to keep track of. And it's also the struggle with load shedding and being able to get the job done in between. It's, it's frustrating. <laughs> I mean, already, I wanted to get all six recordings for Ravenous done today, but I only got three done. I was just too busy. Ooh, I didn't you actually see my horde base? I forgot that I was still busy on working on my horde base. Damn. I upgraded all of it to steel. Oh, did you? That's about it. Awesome. I'll check it out now. I completely forgot that I had a base. <laughs> We used it for a little while, and then, uh... What happened? We went back over to Sam's. Oh, we just went back over to Sam's base. Okay, <laughs> the way you said that made it sound like it failed somehow. No. That actually worked, at least. Yep. Worked too well, and that's why you had to go back? Or just because you uh, wanted to make sure it doesn't get uh, destroyed or something? I don't know. Sam was like, hey, let's go back to the other base. So, <laughs> I went back to the other base. <laughs> And you are what? Pushover? It's like you wanted to stay, Sometimes. you should stay. <laughs> I mean, you didn't have an opinion or what? Nope, I didn't really. <laughs> you go with the flow. What was that? I'm cool with anything. I'm a, okay, it's easy I'm going. A, yeah. Oh boy, I'm a chill go. man. Okay, anyways, uh, meds and farming. This mod really needs a drop chest. Every time I think I've dropped everything, I keep, uh, I keep going back to a certain box because I forget to drop stuff. Oh, 
This is kill the rabbit. Oh, kill the rabbit has to be done with a shotgun, so I should probably run around with these quest items on me. Nah, you can kill it with anything. Even the chicken? Yep. Oh, it's supposed chicken, to be with a nail gun. Yeah, but... This should still re uh, enforce that. It's basically like all mods now where you can just use fire to kill them and just hold the, uh, the weapon in your hand. Something's broken in the code, man. I think I might do uh, five days. Every five day horde. You know what, Draven is. Ravenhurst. Oh, yeah. Good luck. I mean, it's not too difficult. It should, it should be, yeah, you should be able to do it. Oh, they destroyed a ladder over here. It, like, oh, you're like, wow. I, I mean, try it. It'll be cool. I mean, what? How did they destroy that ladder? I have to add stairs as well for some zombies that are too dumb to climb. Oh, yeah, they did destroy one of them. I see. Well, um, there's still no doors over here. I still want to put the doors and the hatches in. So the base isn't complete yet. Over here, we need to be able to shoot through. There's a uh, door's going to be over here so we can throw grenades down. So I need two double doors. One hatch. Two hatches. But yeah, they destroyed one ladder and they did a lot of dam uh, damage to the top two blocks. It's only on the one side, though. They, they climb the right side more than the left side. Yeah. I wonder why well, they we sometimes do that. standing over on one side um for a little while and then on the other side okay so my bike's that side but yeah ravenous is one of those mods as as soon as you know more of the mod it's easy to play it i just i, I didn't i basically only did one in-game week in alpha 20 and then now it's like basically a completely new mod that i'm supposed to learn yeah i haven't played it since 19 alpha 19. I mean, one in-game week is not enough to learn the mod. And some of the stuff that I learned back then, I completely forgot already. Well, he's made some changes, so... Can we try it on a server? Uh, it's too, way too laggy. I had, for yeah. Horde Nights, I actually had um, max zombies of 100 live. And you should see the amount of stutter that you get when there's... Even in um, TBF Gaming, he has all the default settings. He also complete uh, uh, during these series. He also complains about like the lag and stuff, and that's just for one person. So if there's multiple people, it would have to be like a dedicated server or something. I actually want to ask uh, the mod creator for Ravenhurst, what would we need for it to be on a server? What would we need to remove? What would we need exactly just to make sure if we can actually meet those goals? I hate to say it, but probably that fire. But it's not, you know, even if the it. fire thing is off, um, yeah, because you can actually disable it. Even if the fire thing is off, it's still, the way the zombies spawn in, it almost feels like you're constantly getting wandering hordes with the zombies just wandering all over the place. And because those zombies yeah. keep spawning in and despawning, keep spawning in and despawning, that's what's causing all the lag. Many thanks. You've proved to be very resourceful. Here's your pay. It's basically like when you leave a chunk, the zombies in that chunk don't disappear. They just get frozen in time. So when you re-enter that chunk, the other chunk despawns and this one respawns. And because of that, it just creates so much stutter. Especially during the Horde Nights. Damn. The amount, it, it felt like I was watching a movie with a slideshow every now and then because of the, all the lag. And it's not that the zombies were doing too much damage. It was just that there were too many zombies. Um... Auto shotgun, nah. But that is a mod that would be really awesome on a server because the progression's slow enough um, so that people wouldn't be like level three, 400 within a week, but also not too slow for people that don't play uh, like regularly. <coughs> um. <laughs> not me, look at Iron Man. <laughs> what? Yeah, and also because yeah. the tools and stuff break so easily and you have to be careful of usage and all that, um, you can't, you, uh, what do you call it? You, you, you can't like uh, just go mining for progression because you also don't get, uh, the, the tools are also locked. Like the rewards and stuff, you only get what your game stage allows. If you don't really have augers unlocked yet, the chance of actually getting an auger as a quest reward is very low. 
Well, even if you do, you can't. You only have so much to use it before it breaks to completely. You know. Yep. So, I mean, I had to use two different picks: a level four hundred and one and a three hundred and twenty-seven. And I just got ten point seven k oil shale, one level, and both tools almost broke. So the, well, you can't level with mining with that one. You have to kill zombies. But because you're killing zombies, your tools break. The nice thing is at least because you're killing zombies, your tool skill goes up, your action skills. It's one of the better balanced mods out there because you don't have to worry about too fast progression and stuff. Yeah, it is. And you can't really sell to the trader to get experience either because they reduce that as well. Everything's been slowed down. The only problem is the traders can get destroyed, like burned down, destroyed by zombies, whatever. <laughs> and you can't uh, place any blocks, so you can't even help the trader out. So the trader's claimed, but the zombies can destroy it. It just means you can't go and use the trader as a base. But even at nighttime, the zombies destroy the trader trying to get to you. So uh, you have to be careful not to go there too much uh, or too often during nighttime, otherwise you're going to wreck the trader accidentally. I think I should put a ladder on the side as well. Will that reduce it? Oh, I just realized when the zombies get pushed off, they have nowhere to go. So they run into... Oh yeah, this is not done. What was happening during uh, that horde night was they were getting stuck on the sides and then fighting over the ladder. That's why there's so much damage to the ladder. Oh, there's a massive wandering horde coming through. Damn! I love the Wandering Wards in this one. Although I hate the Wandering Wards in Ravenous. All of them are always ra uh, feral. And, and Ravenous Raven basically uh, in Warrior difficulty. Um, my first Wandering Ward ever was uh, the one that killed me. And it was like yeah. five or six uh, feral zombies in between. And then now every single Wandering Ward I'm getting has like insane amounts of ferals. More than half the Wandering Ward is feral. It forces you, you can pick them all from a distance, but just don't get their attention. Well, I noticed uh, that one episode I watched, you got their attention and you ran away far enough, and you were able to come back and pick them off. That's good. Yeah, but you can't get too far away because some of them did despawn. Oh, okay, they do despawn? I thought it was a timer or something on them. Yeah, I, I definitely noticed that there was like cops and stuff close to my base. There was a wandering horde, and the cops definitely despawned. Level 6 Dagger. Hey, that was a big Wandering Horde, damn. Okay, now I need to figure out how to make it so when they fall off over here, they have a way to go over here. But the Wandering Horde I faced at the gas station where they knocked me off my bike. And I wanted to get them in a circle and throw a Molotov, um, that yep. Wandering Horde. That was basically, I, I, can't, I don't remember if that was my first or second one. But the amount of ferals in that thing was just insane. And I got infected, <coughs> and I got a busted leg, and it just, it's like, uh, just tacks on all the negative effects. You waited too long to throw the Molotov. You had a good opportunity there twice to throw that Molotov. I was like, throw it, throw it, yeah, throw it, what are you waiting for? I wanted for? to get as many of them in a circle as possible. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but while that. doing that, they long. kept on spreading apart, though. Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta take the majority of them, not try to get them all. I was it being greedy. It definitely seems like, or yeah, I was just gonna say, it definitely seems like early game in Ravenhurst, you're, you'll pay for being greedy. Yeah, that's why if you see a Wandering Horde, rather run away. Because the Wandering Hordes are yeah, huge, and they, uh, it's, it's almost like the Wandering Hordes in Darkest Falls, where they're a little bit more aggressive, and they're higher quality. Because, I mean, from the start, the Wandering Hordes were just insane just tough were they dog are they dogs in these wandering hordes or, uh, or not and these horde knights you haven't seen yes. any uh, oh, they are. Okay. i did yes i got some dogs it's been a while since i did horde knight though but i'll yeah, have to I design it from this side then But the only Game problem stage. is, I've noticed yeah. for the um, for those quests that we were doing, like the other one where I was running away from those bikers and yeah. feral whites on the fence, mm -hmm. it, it feels like as soon as you shoot one, all of them wakes up. 
And because all of them wake up, now you have to shoot with your gun and it just becomes a massive mess. If it's infested, they will wake up because it's feral sense. Uninfested. It's in no the wonder. notes. No wonder. Because that's why every time I did one of those super infested, I just got overrun, uh, overrun immediately. I really like the what what he did with that too, with the um the quests like that, making the different levels and tiers. That adds a lot of versatility to quests. You're just not spamming the same one because you know how you say you, they the um the PI, trade keeps yeah. on giving you the same quest and, yeah. and the same PUI. Well, this way he'll give you the same quest and the same PUI, but it'll be a different level of quest, which means yeah. you're not going to know where all the zombies are. I like that idea. It's pretty, uh, pretty good. So it's an it's a really good way to just throw that in. There. As bad how I can do tier four fetch and clears, um, but I can't do a tier two super or ultra infested. There's more radiateds in one of those super infesteds and uh, ultra infesteds than there are in actual tier three and four quests. Yeah, well, that makes sense. That's why he put that word super in there. But now that I finally have Whoa. proper weapons, I'm going to definitely try it. She broke into my home. Oh, no, you didn't. No, God, you I didn't. Hope she didn't break anything. Man, they can just go right through stuff. Oh, she must have screamed. Even in Darkness Falls, just because of that M4A1, all of a sudden I can survive a little bit more. Yeah. I Although saw you run out of as ammo you were saying, well, I'm going to leave it here, guys. I was like, you got an M4? You got an M4? I wasn't really expecting much because it is only like 10 uh, durability. But damn. <laughs> it packs a yeah. punch. <clears throat> like a level 1 is even better than, you know, anything, any pipe weapon you can get. Way better. And I'm actually able to fight radiators now where I had to run away in the past. Hey, Bob. What you building there? It's a horde base that I'm building. The design itself works, but I want to make sure that if dogs and stuff show up, they have a way to get up. Probably also make a ladder on this side. See, but now the ladder's going to have to be on the back to accommodate zombies that fall down over here. I can either put ladders right here so they have to climb, but then they might hit the walkway. But now in Ravenous, I'm starting to get uh, more cops, and I'm even starting to get demos. And those demos are fast. I actually had to check on the demo's name to see whether it didn't say feral or something, because they were just way too fast. They're an actual threat. We should definitely try a demos-only server. See if we could do that. I mean, it uh, six of one, half dozen of the other... Um, because demos are tough to kill, but you can always just blow them up, and the server would probably lag after a while, because you know us, we just... Oh, how about just feral whites? <laughs> the pain of facing just feral white zombies. Well, that, that's not the point. It's the dis destruction that the uh, demos can cause, and, you know, just having fun with it. I'm getting more for emotional pain. <laughs> you bring your own emotional pain, man. I'm running out of blocks now. Early game, my biggest enemy is always the Feral White. Is that thing as I fast mean, as I can the, do some damage? The Feral Bikers, man. They oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They can hit you fast, like crazy. They hit hard. They have armor. It's like, oh, come on, dude. Do I have steel? Plus, I have, PTSD. I have PTSD. The first time I, I died in seven days was to a biker. That was my first death experience. I actually had... Um, the Razor Quest... Yeah, I think it will already passed. Um, with that thing where I use a TNT, at first I, I used one TNT, nothing spawned, so I was like, okay, cool, you have to break the blocks on your own. 
And when I broke that second one, I just had to run. Hello, gentlemen. Hey, Bob. Oh, hey, Bob. Hello, how's it going? <laughs> All right. Catching a cold. Uh oh. I'm actually also Stay getting sick here yeah, because my aunt and uncle are sick. Yeah, the back of my throat is all swollen. Oh my god, crap. Uh, you just had dental surgery too. <laughs> yes. My jaw is killing me right now. <laughs> so, I took an ibuprofen, 800 milligram and a 600 milligram, so we'll see. See, I, whenever I have bad headaches, I usually take two Tylenol and two Ibuprofen. The acetaminophen usually enhances what it's taken with. And that does a pretty good job of knocking it right out. I said it wouldn't know. Two, two, uh, two Tylenol and two Ibuprofen. Acetaminophen. Caffeine does it too. Because what I had surgery, I had hernia surgery uh, years ago. And uh, the doctors prescribed oxycodone, um, and they said take extra strength Tylenol with it. But then, when they prescribe Percocet, they have to tell you don't take Tylenol with this because it already has acetaminophen in it. So you'll just be taking too much acetaminophen, and that can uh, ultimately do damage to your kidneys, I guess. Yep, kidneys and give you ulcers. Those, those Percocets. Whew. So, uh, what is the difference between the POIs that have uh, Ravenhurst and then just your pre-gen one that you make? Do you know in offhand? What do you mean? Like the uh, POIs in it. Are there like specific special POIs in the Ravenhurst maps? Or yeah, is it just it's, it's, it's basically pep POIs. But there are also a ton of like custom military camps and Ravenhurst specific POIs as well. So basically it also takes from like a combo pack that we don't get in the pep map. There's a lot of like oh. compounds and stuff that I've never seen before in the pep map. Yeah, so it is a worth A couple worth of huge it. compounds. Yep. Yeah, it's insanely the, huge. The but most does... of them are radiated though. Yeah, they're all the tier 5 ones are. The map does get kind of messed up a little bit. Like... Um, there's this one POI that spawned across the road on my map, and the the road it's like a cliff. You can't drive up it, and it's just. He's a dead bike. The, the, <laughs> yeah, the uh, map is all the road is all screwed up right there. So sometimes those combo pack POIs cause issues. I don't understand. I don't understand why though. Probably just in the way that they spawn. Yeah, it might just be that they're not, like, the way that the fun pimps designed the city grids, like, forget what the explanation was in Alpha 20. It might just be that some of these POIs don't work very well within that grid system. Hey, Adams, welcome to the stream. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. You see, I've already been uh, in front of the screen a lot today because I'm so yawning all the time. Anyone doing quests somewhere? I'm picking cotton. Trying to get some vibranium. I, luckily enough, the wasteland's big enough where if you pick different areas, I picked like 30k yesterday. Oh, nice. Um, How yeah. fast does it respawn? Two hours, real life. Oh, so two days. Was it yesterday or in the previous stream? 15 left. Yeah, I, I 
gathered up about 30,000 in the wasteland. And now I'm just making a whole bunch of axes, level one, and then I've got, I think, 20 um, workbenches in my uh, thing. I'm just scrapping them. Uh, someone actually told me uh, in, during yesterday's stream that Alpha 22 is coming out soon. Yep, it is. Like within like May or April. So basically we won't be able to get Rebirth or... Well, Apocalypse Sounds already been cancelled for 821, but uh, yeah, I don't think Rebirth is going to be ready yet. If I were him, uh, since 822 is just around the corner, hold on to that, make sure it's properly done, and then just adapt it for 822. Voila. Then it'll be one of the first mods that are ready for uh, 822. Each day is a blessing it, a day. And here yeah. Payment. I wonder if um, how uh, much coding or changes they're going to have to do, considering 822 is basically just Thank you. Uh, looks and gear. Well, the then, fact you know, that they, not... someone actually told me uh, that they're going to be calling it Seminist High Apocalypse Edition. And I was like, yeah, I think that's for console. So even though you have it on console, you're going to have to repurchase it. They're slapping a new yeah, fancy name on, so you're going to have to buy it again. It's a new game. But what my, what bothers yeah. me is the fact that we're going to be getting the same version of A22. Uh, so if it's good enough or smooth enough for console, does that then mean it's a little bit optimized for PC? It, it's not the same version. It's not? It's not. Nope, it is not the exact same version. Oh, I thought it was going to be like uh, um, crossplay or something. It Nope. Uh, he, they said they cannot put um, the exact same type of uh, uh, detail in the PYs and everything that they do in the computer because even the newest consoles cannot handle it, cannot run it. Ooh, I'm going to shock them the side effect you to anyone to join. But the PYs, the guns, the uh, the majority of the updates yeah. will be all there. It's just that it won't be as detailed as it is on a PC. Someone actually asked me, uh, will they be able to mod it? I was like, nah, there's no way you'll be able to mod it. You, uh, the PC uh, won't be, uh, If the PC has trouble with some of the mods, there's no way that you'll be able to do it in uh, on console. Well, I think console wise it's uh you've got more regulations so they i don't think people are going to be able to mod it even if they wanted to or could because console wise you've got more regulations on what you can and can't do to uh, games really yep but also just memory base if you look at if you can play in this i on like eight gigabyte ram vanilla but you'll still get some problems. And then when you start doing mods and stuff, you have to at least have 16 gigabytes. Now, all of a sudden, you want to go do... Um, uh, you you want to actually, on a, a console, mod the game as well. There's no way. But you know, though, they were complaining about... I think it was M5 or MD5 crashes or something. It's basically memory loss that there was occurring on the console. That's going to happen all the time if you have the um, mods loaded as well. It's going to struggle just running the base game and now you want to mod it too. I get, if I take off V-Sync, I get about 200 on Ultra, 200 frames per second. If I go to the city, like 100. But if I put a mod on, it's like 60 max on some areas. There's no way you're going to be able to get a nice uh, 200 frame rate. But it's also because of all the custom extra items in the game as well. If the mod only added new zombies, like the, that mods zombies and guns, there'd be way less lag than if it also added that mods POIs. Yeah, I think the POIs are what really do more lag than anything else. Then when you combine all the zombies in with the POI, you're going to have a lot more lag. There was one mod that I played once way back when, I think after 16 or 17 that uh, had so many recipes that it just completely lagged out the mod. They had to, in the update for that mod, remove most of the recipes and all of a sudden the lag was gone. It also depends on like the amount of items new to the game that are added to the game. I'm really curious to see what that rendering help does for uh, helping the lag. Where, you know, you can't see in the windows unless you walk up to a certain distance to them. Yeah. Because that's basically supposed now, to be one. Yeah, basically for us now, when we go, get close to P.O.I, the zombies already start spawning in. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. 
So they only yeah, spawn in if you see through the windows now. Well, not just that, but the, you know, when you look through the window from a distance, you can see tails stuff yeah. inside of the building. That's that's going to be invisible. It's going to be like a blank, hazy, charcoal-looking a uh, window. And then as you progress up to the window, get closer to it, then you will start to see items and stuff appear in the in the building. Yeah, and that's supposed to increase. I think they said five to ten percent. Um. Uh, increase with uh, or decrease in the lag or frame rate. Frame rate. Oh, I didn't or bring a melee weapon. Five to ten percent increase in the frame rate. Um, may know they're not gonna mod it. Uh, Alpha 22 is gonna come out soon, but you won't be able to mod it because it's just gonna create too much lag. The console wouldn't be able to hold the game and the mod at the same time. Oh crap, now I'm doing the shotgun factory and I didn't bring a proper melee weapon. That was dumb. Oopsie. Um, are you gonna plan on doing a uh, series or anything with it when it comes out? Twenty-two. Uh, for the uh, server. I uh, usually well, um, when it goes stable, oh not stable, when it goes out for like the public, we could we could put it on the server, but I think by then a uh, few mods would be out as well. So then it's up to you guys. Do you want to do vanilla first, or do you want to do mods? Probably mods, because really it's not much yeah, change in gameplay or anything. Own, really. Yeah, because basically what I'm going to do for my channel is the moment it comes out, I do a... It's basically going to... I'd usually do a, a one series, a stream series, but now that I have early access, that's basically my stream series. Oh yeah, yeah that's right. You're, uh, my senses have picked up something. Did I have a spike club in this mod, or was it in Ravenous? Uh, or was it in Obi, um, Age of Oblivion? I'm getting so confused between what I have and what mod. Yeah, Oblivion. I could have sworn I had a weapon for this one as well. I'm attempting to clear a shotgun messiah yeah, factory a with only 700 ammo. You, you had a spear. No problem. Probably see what I spec yeah, into, but... <laughs> you know. I think when you respect though, you got out of the spear. I definitely went out of the spear because of the short reach of the Hellfire one. That's why I think I went into clubs, but I can't remember. I'll have to see what I spent points in. But now I'm attempting... Oh, at least I got more ammo just now from looting a few bags. I came here with 700 and... No, I actually I had just over 1,000. I altogether have 1,572 rounds for this whole factory. So I have to be so careful with how I use it right now. Come on, Pete. I don't have anything in melee. Oh. Also, with only demos, you get red loot bags anytime one of them drops something. And all you have to do is make sure you put a few spikes down and you can kill them that way. Or make a base as soon as possible as blade traps. They Can't they set the demos off? The nope. auto turrets don't, so a base with auto turrets is good. Blade traps definitely don't. Really good. I know the junk turrets do. <laughs> hey, yeah. yeah. In darkness falls. That seems to be all they do. Yeah. Like, did you hit anything other than his button? Seriously? Gotta touch the button. Set the button. Go I've ahead. got a bad feeling about this. Now, I have to be careful as well. I I'm trying to do as many headshots as possible. Because if I get some um, of those guardians in here, I'm gonna have a problem. I have to save ammo now for the bosses. Kind of funny in Raven. Within sight of the zombies, you're hiding. Like if you're out on your rooftop and there's zombies walking around, the voice will keep saying. Yeah, that's a creepy. Uh, every now and then, that I'm female like, voice oh goes. Oh my goodness! Yeah. It's like who said that? Who, who, where are they? Who's saying that? Yeah, I was which mining. One? Which one? Th that mining that I was doing, I was doing without my glasses, uh, without my mining helmet lights on, and then all of a sudden, they know where you are. Yeah, or. One of them will say, filthy little creatures. Uh, the night terrors uh, are basically, I, I think they also make noises like that, the night terrors, when they attack you. Because in Alpha 20, there was, like I said, a, it was a large mutated night stalker. And he was green, and that was a night terror. 
But I'm, I'm sure actually that's that, a night terror. That was a night terror, yeah. So now I'm thinking, uh, well, I actually prefer that over like a nemesis or a boss zombie. Unless they also have an insane reach like the rest. You just never got around giving your reach around? It's inconsiderate, I think. Yeah. The Z zombies had that incredible reach like that sumo dude. And uh, then they fixed it because they weren't supposed to. And now it seems that the nemesis and boss zombies are supposed to have such a range. Which is weird because it's basically like a ghost hitting you. It's not them hitting you. Yeah, not the like, same, but close to it? or Because that's like going to be the dangerous. Side of the POI. They're literally yeah. 10, 15 blocks away from you and they can smack you. You know how my horde base is designed? When I'm at my hatch on top and the dude is on the floor downstairs by the ladder, he can smack me. So there's on no the melee against him. On the floor. <laughs> they have Whoa. insane reach. I'm not a fan of that. The fact that they can reach you from so far away. So you know how if a, uh, if a zombie just tickles you, you uh, climb off the bike? Now imagine that. Imagine uh, it just uh, touches you like that uh, uh, from afar. It actually did happen. The first time I encountered the red one, the red uh, nemesis zombie, it knocked me off my bike from a distance. I bet you were like, what is going on? What is no, but he knocked me off while I was passing zombies, so they were able to smack the shit out of me. Just because he touched me. That's why I don't ride a bike. Well, that I'm was on the mini bike. Mini bike, bike. I walk. Huh. Well, what until you, you test the uh, the dirt bike and like, yeah, I'm driving. Yeah, but it's just <laughs> the space on it is yeah. horrible. Yeah, it's I true, but still, uh, visiting traders and stuff, it's it, almost instant. Off of what? And I got lucky with that, um, with that hiker's backpack. Yeah, that was good fine. That was basically two backpacks combined into one. Cool. So how do you get the last row? Uh, you have to get ten more normal backpacks and then craft the backpack. What happens if you get another hiker backpack? That's what I was actually oh. asking in the one episode. Uh, does that count as two now? What's gonna happen if I get another one? Especially since it basically counts as two, that should help me as well. I wonder if that means you need to save them, not use them right away. Cause yeah, you have to save ten of them and then combine them, and then use the combined ten. So it, it's, mean, it's um, really annoying because you have to, as you find a backpack, read it to open up those first ten. And then uh, when the next 10, it was really so difficult uh, finding the bloody backpacks. Now when you come across them, you have to grab them. Because, uh, the, the way I was using them, I'm clicking on them and I'm using um, uh, using the shortcut key for use. So I wasn't grabbing it, I was I was using it out of the container. So if you grab them, you don't use them, it's just going to pop into your inventory. I have to now go and grab 10 of those and then combine them. Sometimes I'm really bad at explaining stuff. My male cat is such a meme. He broke the new toy already that they got for the girls. Mm. Well, our, off the counter. our female dog is in heat and our, uh, my uncle's male dog is like 12, 13, 14 years old. is following her all over the place. <laughs> He's getting Give some up, exercise dude. in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pasture Prime. <laughs> He's like, hey, he, I it? still got it. I'm going to use it. Still got all my all fours. Holy. Yep. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, how did all of them wake up? Did they all die? You know that one section um, where you uh, are almost done on the bottom uh, just before you get to ca the cafeteria that leads up? There's like a yeah. guns room and then there's the bathrooms. Well, somehow all the skulls just woke up. Or at least they're Oops. showing. They haven't woken up, woken up, but they're showing. So I wonder which I should kill first. Perhaps the bathrooms. There's a screamer, yeah. Oh no. Oh, I think yes. she's inside because the cursor is huge. <laughs> 
I don't know how I'm gonna finish this. Very carefully. How many bullets you got left? 1,300. I'm still on the Are bottom floor. Good? I'm still on the bottom floor. <laughs> I'll just use them sparingly. No spraying and praying. Well, um... The amount of zombies I'm getting, I have to actually spray and spray. Now the bottom broke up and the uh, gun room broke up. Are you gonna pull a Ravenhurst and run away? I'm gonna have to. <laughs> I'm, I'm, just, I'm just basically going from room to room backwards. Oh no, I stuck myself in a small room. What did I do? What did I do? My gun just broke. That's what I... That's what I did in the uh, correctional uh, facility. Ran the wrong direction in that final room. Oh yeah, I've done that before. And yeah, once you get into there and you got a bunch of zombies, it's either you kill them all or you die. There's nothing I could do. The one zombie, actually, what did it, what started it down the, the wrong path, one of the zombies' corpses kept blocking the doorway. And every time I'd move forward with my melee weapon, it would pop me up. And I kept swinging and missing. And I couldn't knock the zombies over. Bullied their way into the room. Ooh, if that sounds, the if that sounds smack. like a thin excuse, it is. And your HP just goes down because one bike is smacked. Yeah. Legit. Yeah. Well, you were online. I was pissed. Yeah, you were. I was not happy. I don't know why I do this fucking place. I was like, oops. Like, why did I take this stupid PO? I hate it. But you went back but and I know, finished it. Yeah, I know the strat now, though. Like, you when you drop down into that final room, you have to run up to the left and go into that room where the cop is and then hit the button to open the escape, to open the exit. And then you got room I don't, to maneuver. I don't even do that. I open the one of the doors that gets into there from the other side, clear the room, and then go do the rest of the POI. Yeah, like when you first come into that that first entryway, you can break a couple of steel blocks and get into that room and clear it first if you want to. But That's if you go I the do. way that they intend for you to path, you, you drop down into that room, you have to go up into that room where the cop is off to the left, where there's like racks with armor, and stuff in it. I think this is the first yeah. time I'm doing this uh, POI in Alpha 21. You know, these changes, I don't know about these changes. That's a lot of faces. Really? Yeah, this over here on the top, I'm still used to where they're stuck inside the building over here. Now there's a generator. Oh, why did something. I fall down? Don't do that, John. Do Step back Make to the room. I mean, it's already midnight uh, or midday, and horde knights are approaching, so I have to hurry. Oh, I'm, sure. like, I'm only oh, now no. going to the second they floor. Administrative mode. Twenty-two hundred. Administrative mode. Oh, oh six a.m. He takes that uh, candy from uh, joke mod. Oh yeah. Ooh, that's not holding nice. that now. Oh, if I'm oh, gonna no, suffer, you're gonna suffer. <laughs> yeah. You'd be in a better position than I am. I'm in the middle of the wasteland. Well, I need you to remove the stairs and stuff if I'm gonna face the horde, yeah? yeah. So what map was it that you were using? Or you don't remember, Cone? Uh, for Ravenhurst? Yeah. I, it's one I made myself. I don't remember yeah. what the computer named it. But... I think Gene is using uh, 10k. Oh, I think mine is 8k? Something like that. Yeah, I think it's 8k. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. In that mod, you're gonna want a lot of buildings, because you're gonna need a lot of stuff. Oh no! Did you? I was looking to see how, how much those tin cans gave you when you put them in your recycler. See if they're worth keeping. Uh, the tin cans and stuff. If you put a stack in there, you get a lot of iron back. It's, it's it, I mean, to, is, hmm? oh, crap. keep it. Is yeah, it worth, it's keeping, worth it? keeping? Yeah. 
All your oh, tools, okay. all the cans, everything that you might scrap or might want to scrap usually, keep it. Because you get a lot of those in the beginning and you know, you're always fighting for storage. Yeah, that's the only problem. You need the storage. But you get... I, I, the first time... I, don't, I can't remember what I put in, but I got like five stacks of iron. Jeez. Okay, that's definitely worth it. I can make the recycler now. I just don't... There's something I don't have. I forget now. I always forget about the second page of stuff we need. I just didn't have enough, like, oh, I need 150 forged iron, so I don't have enough of that. Okay, they oh, changed it. This door is now open continuously. Where the fire dudes are in that room. Oh, I need to turn off the fire thing. Whoa, calm down. I'm just here for the vibranium. Jeez. <laughs> we know what you want, sir, but you're not ready to have it. Pound of flesh. Pound of flesh for a stack of vibranium. Nope, I'm taking it. I'm not giving you nothing. I am stressing. Stressing. Technically, that means I'm giving you something. Just Some knowing light. that I'm not even close to the top yet. Oh. Some lead in the head. You want Bob to come help you clear it? Oh, to your Bob, since I'm not close. <laughs> <laughs> How come Bob, I think he needs help. Oh, they're falling down. No, don't go back. You gotta send me an invite, though. Oh, that's my bad. Jeez, I'm sabotaging John and I didn't know it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 1.1 kilometers. Okay. I'm on my way. I'm not done with the second floor, going to the third floor out of like four or five. And it's already. What's your one, ammo? 1.1. Uh, it's going down steadily. Oh, <laughs> You're still in a good spot, though. I only have vibranium ammo. Well, he doesn't carry facing, that. I'm gonna be facing uh, bosses on the top floor. Master, we are not alone. Like, I can help. I don't carry that garbage ammo anymore. There's bound to be a ton of uh, what they called guardians on the top floor. When I did the uh -huh. horde last night by myself. It was mostly guardians. And I didn't get any Zeds, but I got a lot of guardians. Is that all a lot they? of those damn rocket launching sons of guns. Oh, those guys! You can't see anything when they're going yeah. nuts. I actually took some damage from them too. Wuss. Like I didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> I can hear you in there. You let me get my bicycle moving, or my motorcycle moving. Oh, that's just birds. Oh, oh, Why you don't have any screamers? I'm using a silenced gun. And I'm trying to do burst fire, so I'm not constantly just spraying. You can hear the stress in his voice. <laughs> Yeah. I have to hurry. <laughs> it's already one, almost two, and the horde is starting soon. And I'm already one point something kilometers away from the horde base. Oh, I picked the worst. I was grabbing resources, and now I'm just leaving them behind. Yeah, you can always go back through and loot it later. John isn't one of those t people to do that. Master, we are not alone. Why waste Unless resource, it's... man? This is that APAC building. Then he'll go back. Yeah. Pax oh, go. I have one of those in my town as well. A Pax and Ravenist, go, yeah. if you go from the first um, concrete pillar that you see, uh, you know where that, um, on the outside of the building, where the first storage shed is with the resources, if you count from the from the sh um, concrete block, it's 11 blocks and you can break a block there and you can get the final stash. And you, you can, can get, go three you, in. Yeah, you can go close enough yeah. and you don't even get radiated. It's awesome. Three deep. Is what I found. You can go in three deep. Three inches. No. Say, average, <laughs> average is almost. Like, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, John. I'm on the third floor with you, clearing out a boss. 
I have the penetration skill, so I can actually do a ton of damage to the zombies as they're coming down a staircase. What a time to talk about that. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you breathing. I was like, yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I, got, I got the penetration skill. The penetrator. I mean, that's what it's called. <laughs> that's just simply what it's Boom, called. Chicka, pow, wow. They call him the penetrator. I almost just ran over a bird. That would have been funny. Go back. Let them come to us. I hate it when the drone gets in the way. Oh, that would have been a sweet jump with that drift. I, I, I always put that drone in timeout when I go into the buildings. What is this different? Problematic. Shotgun Messiah? Yeah, it's a little bit, but it hasn't changed that much. A lot of the rooms and stuff have been changed too. I, I, it's stuff that I'm not used to. That's a good thing. Is it? Is it really? <laughs> yep, it is. Come on, boys, wake up. Where are you? I usually like spins that they put on stuff. But if you're in a rush to get through a place and they've just slightly altered a few things that you're used to doing, and all of a sudden you're struggling to get through the place. Now we have to go through there. Okay, so now I have a crap ton of iron, but I have no uh, clay. It's always some. Yeah, the clay is definitely a uh, big necessity in this mod. Did you say you have clay or don't have clay? But in Ravenous, it's a big change not having a, like a, a an Orga level 1 or whatever. It's a huge thing not actually having that. Come on. Okay, you don't go out this way Well, anymore. actually, if you think about it, it's not that big of a deal. Because, oh. if you, say, if you have a level 1, you can't use it much. Because you're just going to break it. Yeah. Oh, hello, doggies. I actually really like the progression in this one. This. Yes. Uh, it I is like a really it. slow, so people that hate slow progression won't like it much. But overall, it's actually a very... N I actually really like the way... Pro no invite. <laughs> no! <laughs> Sam, we... Look what you're asking. You're asking Cone. I can't even... I don't even remember when I get invited. Alright, I'm just... Who is the party leader? Everything. Um... Oh, it is, um... I don't know. Me. Ironically. <laughs> and then it's been quiet. I haven't heard him in chat one. for a while. Yeah. There's another game he's been playing. Uh, he's, he's in the game at the moment. Yeah, he's on the server. Whoa. Big cow. Cowabunga. Whoa. I see you've been through this floor. Yeah, I'm following you now. You're ahead of me. Yeah, I, told, I told you I would be. What is this? What oh. the heck? There was usually a gun safe Ooh. behind over there. The gun safe's there, but it's empty. Yeah, but that used to be behind the ramp. Now it's completely moved. Yep. You used to also go through they this window and go around. Now you just go through here immediately. Hello, frozen doggy. I'm almost there. I'm running, man. I'm running. Ooh, my food's low. Oh, I see you guys. I'm gonna pull up to that. Okay. Take him, Gene. I got a bunch of ailments. See where they're ganging up over here? <laughs> I'm gonna have to use my drone. Well, my drone is down now, but I'm gonna have to actually use it. Oh no, there's actually stuff on the drone. And you forget to take stuff off. See if I can remember how to get through this place. We're actually basically on the top. Where are you? On the bottom. Um. We're underneath the yellow room. 
make it. I got all my Fortnite stuff with me. So. I don't have it all with me, but we'll be out of here long before that. You sure? Oh, you yeah. sure, sure? Oops. Look after they spawn above. No vultures, that's surprising. That's what I was going to say, where's the birdies? To, oh, he's not here. Oh, they're up here now. My senses have Come on, boys. Look, are you gonna jump down there and jump on the um? Oh, there's things still there. Oh, why? Where did victory come from? One of the boulders above was still alive. What on earth? The doggy in the window. The dog How much is the, the dog? <laughs> Why can I not remember how to? Wait, go this, this is new. You used no. to have to jump up against the side. There was never a ramp that goes up to you. Oh, I thought you meant that. Oh boy. I see dots, but I don't see any enemies. Oh, they're around the corner. Yeah, I think. Cool. They're around the corner over here. Oh, that's good for us. So it used to be in the middle of here. Wait, is this the, this is the final stash, strike. right? Oh, no, it's not. No, 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 this no. This huge no. ammo pile used to be in the pillar of here. That's definitely, this part of here is uh, very changed. That ammo pile used to be in this uh, section of here. What's there? What? Oh. oh. I shot the wrong thing. So they were in the wall. I can't wait. I just need a hazmat uh, headpiece. And then in Ravenous, I can actually go into radiated places. That's literally the only piece that I still need and I can go. But can you survive? Well, if I can just um, go past them, like cheese past them onto the towers, I can get the final stashes. Oh, they're gonna make the final stash that easy? <laughs> that easy? It's still gonna be protected. It's basically gonna be the the uh, shock and messiah factory roof. And now with Alpha Twenty One, there's actually zombies up there with the uh, loot. It used to Good. be there wasn't anything up there. Now they are. Are you? Yeah. Did we get them all, or? There's a zombie down below over there. It shows there's a skull, yeah, but I'm guessing it's in I either on the roof. Did you, did you get them all up on the roof? The roof, roof? No. Oh, it, there's a screamer huh? down there. Unless that red skull isn't part of this BI. And I'm supposed to do the final room still. Oh shit! I fell. Hello. Are you done? Nope. He's missing. He's zombies. Oh, oh, I hate this boss. This experimental one with a fire. When he makes a fire cloud, you can't see anything around him. Nope. It still shows there's zombies fell, down John, below. There's nothing. Yeah, there's nothing here. Conan I'll come and I check are right now. here. Well, go up to the go up to the roof and get the and the, get the cache to see if that activates. No, no, uh, I can actually see. There's a yellow dot. It is. It says it shows now in this tower above. There's a red skull, oh, and then sure there's a zombie over there, but I can't see the zombie. Oh, probably I, something. I got him! Triggered. I got him! I got him! He's stuck right here. 
Must be him, dread one. Oh. Come on, how do you... Did you see this, Colin? Nope. I'm right behind you. He's stuck in the cement. <laughs> oh, yeah, half their bodies keep sticking out. Like, their legs get stuck in the cement. Any... Uh, I, can I can't it. get close to him where he puts me on fire. Got a grenade or something? I have mullets, I'll try now. Oh, this is a lot of loot. That's a lot of loot, and I don't have enough space for that. Where the heck is Let me out, guy? let me out! Um... Right there, right there, right there. Oh, I see. Ow, I'm on fire again. Oh, now I'm reading my treasure maps here in the middle of nowhere. That's, that's bright. I'm gonna have to come back all the way over here just to get these quests done. Is that it? Yes, return to trader. Here we go. Nice. Well, we're in a stairwell, so... Damn. Um... Let's go all the way down. There was a, scr a, tr a screamer down here, so... Watch out. I'm already down here. I have to put some dyes on my clothes just to get some space. These final stashes are oh. insane in this mod. Ooh, the amount of stash. Ops. Yeah, there's a lot of loot. Okay. My end piece. That's the only thing, Ravenurst. I think the loot got rebalanced too. Yeah, the loot's actually decent for the the effort you put in. Yeah. That's why Not it as might much feel this mod. it might feel very grindy to some people, but I'm actually really enjoying it. All right, I remember. I actually remember how grindy it could be. That's why I was like, ah, I don't know if I should do a series on it, but now I'm actually really enjoying it. My senses have picked up something. I'm glad it's I did, man. Sometimes when you're using the primitive weapons and tools because you just you go out for one day and all of a sudden your your axe is broken so you got to make yeah. another one so it feels like you're taking half the day just remaking your tools but then again if you pl if you, you plan in advance workstation with you but in yeah, advance keep a spare tool on you i know it's more storage oh um you can get backpacks and drawers and stuff as well but not like the 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 um Bedside drawers. You know the the ones where the zombies are usually standing on top of? I um, found one in a backpack on the gr on the ground outside. Wait, what? Oh, I mean like a sports bag. That's lucky. Yeah. I didn't get one in one of those. I've but, only found one though. Yeah, so it seems it's in any one. kind uh, any kind of desk or cupboard or drawer or any kind of you can actually get lucky and find it. But I got super lucky in that school finding that hiker's one. Because basically that's two backpacks. And because I found it so late, uh, in the beginning the first five backpacks only open up two slots each. From there I think it's three of them open four slots and the last two open like twelve slots. All together. So that hacker's, uh, hacker's, hiker's backpack is basically a hacker's backpack. That, oh, that, that, hiker's, that hiker's backpack. Um, because it was the last two um, storages, it actually opened up so many slots for me. If I got that like on day one, it would have been a massive waste. I was caught out, damn it. That's why I'm so glad I'm recording the way I'm doing now. In the past, people were like, yeah, alright, you spawned that in. But now because I actually um, record how I open up the container and then it's, it's you can't say I cheat. <laughs> Just waiting for someone to say, yeah, I'm putting a dream. I, I, in the XMLs, I made it so the drop chance are higher. But then by the, uh, by now, I would have had my backpacks uh, knocked a long time ago. Yeah. Who cares? What they say, though. Difference doesn't make. You don't know me. Gene, as long as they're saying something in the comments, yeah. it helps the <laughs> Yeah. Thank, thanks for the engagement, buddy. I can actually see when uh, Iron Man's binging uh, some episodes because I all of a sudden get notified of like 10 comments. Hi, hey, hi. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually awesome because uh, like I said in the end of, uh, at the end of streams when I, uh, uh, when I ask people to actually comment and like and stuff, if say a hundred people like the video and just say hi, they don't even have to comment about the video or anything. 
Just having that comment on the video, YouTube goes and boosts it. It's a sad thing that that's what it requires. But it actually does yeah. work a lot. But it okay. rewards people who are just click farming. They're just getting people to come to the video and, and, and engage with it. And the, the content is garbage. Yep. Which base think... are we starting out at? Well, I'm going to try mine. Well, it's not completely, completely done yet. So I'm going to see now. It's probably going to get wrecked. The other day. Yeah, but I added the new section that's cobble now. Oh, that's going to get wrecked. Oh boy. She's got a big old spear in her hand. I am not messing with that. Oh, so well, hi. She looks not, not good, kind of crazy. Way to come up. She got kind of crazy. She got crazy eyes. Did you see that the one? These are basically um, just going to take the shortest path to us, so it doesn't matter if they come up. They won't come up the stairs. Did you see the the one with um, Holly Quinn where she ties uh, Nightwing to the bed? And she's like, oh, uh, you're all grown up now. And she turns off the lights. <laughs> I know. It's, a, it's an actual series out there uh, with them in it. And she's like, oh, okay, yeah. And it actually uh, it seems to enjoy it. So. <laughs> so that's why I say that's a good kind of crazy. <laughs> I need an, a 9 mil gun. Automatic 9 mil. Damn. What level? Does it matter? Uh, it doesn't really matter, no. Because I have so I have, much uh, nine more ammo. Do you want an SMG at level five? I wouldn't say no. Okay, I'll, I'll bring it over to you. I wonder if TNT will work well. Let's try it. Bob's Bob's like fine. I'll say no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring you a level six pistol too, in case you want to check out uh, which one you want. I just need an SMG for now because I need to put the I need to use the uh, ammo. At the moment I only have a thousand one hundred and eighty five seven six two left. But I have five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty two and a half thousand nine more rounds. I have three level six SMGs if you want one of them. Uh, oh, okay. uh, yeah. I have a level a level six SMG. Yeah. I'll take one, yes please. I don't have any mods for it, but I have mods with me. you have a drum magazine mod? Yep, a drum magazine. I have the NICAD, the rad remover, and a freezing one as well. Those four you should want... work. Oh yeah, it only takes... Well, it takes one, two, three, four, five, six. How about Crippler mod and the flammable oil mod? Those will both fit on there with the others, I think. Then I can leave the freezing mod behind. That'll fit on there too. Yeah, but there's only so much space. Six. It has six mods you can put in it. Six mods? Uh, how many mods do you have? Two. I got. I put two of them in there, yeah. And then I, I have five. Okay, then I can actually try the... Let's see. Freezing mods. Why does this one have six, it... but my M60 only has... My M60 also has six. Okay. I have the liquid nitrogen, and the flammable well. oil, and the NICAD all on my M60. That one, that one, that one, that one. Shock fire. Freeze. Shock fire. Freeze. I can put one more mod on here. So just repaired your motorcycle. Welcome. Thank you. How kind. <laughs> I forgot that I had mine in my pocket. I'm just gonna make yourself another silencer after this so I can go. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna put the barrel extender mods on Fortnite. So it's gonna be a little bit loud, but damn, it's gonna do some damage. Aha, there you are. You still want the level 5 pistol, though? Ah, uh, no thanks. Are good. Level 6 pistol? I have a level 6 Desert Vulture and level 2 pistol, but I'm not really using the pistol. 
Now that I have the um, SMG, it's not worth it. Armor. Okay. I think I'm ready for this horde. Oh, that reminds me. Probably just quickly go finish that one section. Oh, I never made the doors. Um, double door. Double Who door. needs doors? Nobody needs doors. And two. And more forged iron. Right, right. Dang it. Come on, man. Not Come on, up. man. Which base are we going to use? I'm going to use mine. We're going to start out at John's. Double door, and then I need one, two, three matches. So that should do. And now this should do the trick. Okay, let's go. I also need to make myself some drone mods uh, because my drone actually only has two slots, two rows. So what I want to do over here is I want to just quickly go and place in the rest of the pyramid staircase. Can you oh, bring for me my box, Pete's please? sake. Okay, so dogs will be able to climb from this side and that side. There's a ladder over here for anyone that falls down. You can play with the feathers, just wants to play. See? Whoops, stamina. Stamina mina. Why am I still bleeding? Oh crap, it's almost hard night. Oh, yep, boy. 15 minutes. Oh boy. Run away! You better start taking your stuff now. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna take this guy. Um. Okay. So GFX PP enable zero. Hey, Mike. Okay, moment of truth. Let's see how all this works. I should probably also put a ton enough points into this. It's under... Master, we are not alone. Incoming enemies. Agility. Renslinger. Hey, Mike. How you doing? Hey. Mike the Ike. This kind of design I did in Age of Oblivion and it works really well. You can see which one I specced into. Almost insta-kill. Ooh, video Z. Hey, Z. Somebody killed one of those fire rims, I see. Yep. Oh crap, I see myself a light. Shot. Wrong angle, man, wrong angle. Where There's a third they? angle to the left. What the heck's going on? Oh, they're all oh there's so many Zeds. Right? What's the effects around it? It looks like the boss or something. It looks like a rainbow around him. Yep. Ooh, someone has a rocket. I only have 41 now. Hmm. 
Technically, we should let them climb so we can shoot them in the backs. Yep. I was doing fine. Why you, you are here? Because we're not getting anything, man. Over the oh, there's a demo. Too. I'm over here because I want to be. You want to be? Sam, we think you look good in that skirt, so we wanted to check your legs out. Ooh. Infected. Nope, there's Mike. Mike's got that side handle. Dead, dead, dead. Nope, she's going back down the steps. What the heck? Oh, there's lag, because the explosives aren't changing. What is that? Oh, a frozen bow. This dude that's running on the walkway now, that fiery dude, I hate it. He obscures the view. It, uh, it almost looks like he sets your light, but he doesn't. He just sets the air blaze. Until now, I just got to look at it. And to make sure to, uh, to get into the skill as much as possible. With 22,000 rounds, I can go uh, do a lot of looting that way. Oh, that's a demo. Yeah. Look at him just hanging in there. <laughs> He did stuck. Ouch! Oh, you go, guy. You can come up there with just the up. Ah, uh, Sam got it. Demo. Nice shot, Sam. Nope. Oh, that's a red dot. I saw a red demo dot. Oh, his aid is missing, but his dots. Okay. Okie dokie. shot at me okay so two skill points gunslinger look at that guy poops out a big red rock <laughs> hemorrhoids ouch man just looking at that pains Reminds me, what? reminds me of that movie, The Blob. With, you know um, that movie, guys? Yeah, the yep. one with uh, the comedian, Robin Williams. No, 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 no. Earth. Why is he just standing? A really old movie. Called you the talking Blob. the black and white one? The 
black and white one, Sam? Yeah, the one that uh, come from the outer space. Yes, yep. With Kurt Only Russell in it. Only no, no. old people know that. That was the thing you're thinking of. Oh, yeah, that was the thing. The blob is Robin Williams. He makes this uh, no. green blob. No, that's Blur or something. That's a Walt Disney movie. Yeah, no. The blob oh, is yeah. a horror Flubber? movie. Flubber? Oh, yeah, Flubber, yeah, yeah Flubber. Let's Look at those zombies just standing around. Professor. Yeah, they're, they're just... I'm gonna start shooting. I'm gonna... I'm, I'm out on the ground. It's like nothing happened. Okay, okay, you can come back to this side. No, that's just your side. You're the only one allowed to have fun tonight. Just don't look uh, up my skirt. Just, just like before. Well, you've got to tell me that before the horde night starts. you got to tell me that before I do it. I wonder, that one zombie that um, ragdolls like that, if that also doesn't create a ton of lag. Likely. He's getting stuck in the game itself, basically. He's, they're all standing around. Okay. Stationary targets is good for me. <laughs> I'm actually thinking of making a killing cargo on the floor. Yeah, well, it works. We need a ton of ammo, but yeah, that might work. The good old Glock 9 hatch killing quarter. Oh, there nope, were no hatches, just straight on. Oh, I know, but it, I, just, I followed him first, basically, and that's how I learned it. I haven't watched his video in a while. He's doing one now that's kind of... He's stuck in the, the hospital and he has to survive only in the hospital. He can't oh. get anything else. He can call screamers in for hordes and stuff like that. And he's doing it horde every night. It's, it's okay. It's kind of boring. Yeah, because basically you don't get all the stuff that you really need. Yeah, there's no way he's going to make a temptation. There's no way he's gonna be able to get five beakers or or, or five uh, acid and then make them make a forge. Actually, repair my crucible. gun, please. Goodness. Just consider it as a movie. Like one guy surviving in the hospital. <laughs> yeah. You know what I did? I I, I couldn't figure out. Like, what was it? Dawn of the Dead when they were in the... In the... Shopping mall. Shopping mall and... They wanted to leave. And I'm like, what the hell's wrong with you people? You have everything you need. <laughs> yeah, what was the reasoning for that? I don't remember what the reasoning was for that. Leaving the They were the running out of power. They, I guess gas, they were running out of gas and they had to... Find another place. I mean, they had power and everything there. It seems the only explosives that really work are uh, rocket uh, launchers and contact grenades. Anything that has a timer to it just gets stuck because of lag. Is he dead out there? The dude was falling in, uh, in a slideshow just now. Anyone here from audio was real or I think even Jelly Beams uh, the new oh, well he's not new uh, he's an old member that recently joined again and I haven't heard from him. I haven't seen an audio stream in a while, so I'm not sure. The last message I got from Zareal was she uh, she's going to Disneyland with her daughter. And she'll see us on the new server, and since then, nothing. Maybe that was a while, she's still in Disneyland. 
<laughs> yeah, she liked it so much though. Yeah. She streamed on her channel a few times. Now they're just moving. So they're moving slower and slower and slower. Oh, there's a screamer somewhere. Ah, hello. She just lost her hay for a second. It must look like the hay burned off. I think stuff like that, where they. Look at that. The hay gets loose like that, I think that also creates lag. It happens in all mods. In Alpha 21, it's basically the same bug the Windows have. Sometimes, even like the horizon, the stars and stuff move when you zoom in. you guys an idea of how much we're lagging right now? The Horde Knight should have been 15 minutes, it's already been like 20 minutes, and it's not even close to being done. The slower the frame rate um, uh, during a Horde Knight, the longer the Horde Knight lasts. Really? I didn't know that. Yep. I had a Horde Knight once, and instead of 15 minutes lasts, it's 40. One frame per second. It was like a mega uh, snow base. But how can you play like that? You can't. Just... No, I, I only used that base once. Basically, I had so many traps. I think it was like 50 turrets, 20 blade traps, 100 and something electric fence posts. So every time something triggered them. Whoop. Why Ooh, would God. you do something like that? That was back in Alpha 16 oh, when I made like a mega oh. base for a series. There you go, Bobby. Thank you guys. These fire dudes, I hate oh, them. Mike. Mike's still alive? Mike's going, Mike. Oh, Mike. Yeah. Special Ops Mike's still alive. Keep going. Do the fire zombie set you guys like? The one uh, experimental dude. Not the Molotov guys, but the one that has like a fire um, cloud around him. It's like a long uh, slender dude. It doesn't seem to be doing any damage. It, it sometimes feels like I'm on fire, but it doesn't do any damage. Yeah, Colin was saying that yesterday. Colin, you got one on, uh, you got one on you. Probably crawled through without us noticing. Yes, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at on me. Look at thick on the floor. Ooh, a red bag. <laughs> Out of 762. Where's everyone? Downstairs. They're all off to the east, and they're all kind of standing in place. The fire zombies don't do damage, but the rocket launcher dudes. Whew. If they catch you straight on, they do damage. Oh no, no, Mike's dead. They caught up to me finally. Oh, wait, I hear Mike. Why can't I see him? Well, that's you. For now? Oh boy. Mike is doing good, uh, lag. Where is he? Is he even still? Yeah. Perhaps he fell down with the zombies. Oh, there is a dude down there on fire. Oh, there he is! He's, look at him. He's down there going to town. Let's go, Mike. I'm not... I don't have any lag over here. I mean, not like real bad lag, just a wincy bit. 
the lag we had when I joined you uh, is basically what we're getting over here now. It's basically too many zombies doing too much damage with too many effects that's causing lag. Hello, hello, hello. Hey Brandon, welcome to the stream. Eh. Honestly, to me, Raveness' uh, enemies are scarier. These you can at least kill, those with the insane regen they have. Oh. Hey, brute. Mike's still out here. I wouldn't be surprised if he ran yeah. away. You threw an explosive at him. All of a sudden, it's running smoother. Yep. Yes. It's definitely the zombies causing the lag. Yeah, it's always the zombies. I think it might be the uh, the particle effects on them as well. That's why in yeah. Darkest Falls, Kane's uh, uh, Kane went and he went, uh, took away like the particle effects around the zombies and gave them glow. These boss Still zombies have too much detail. Scattered everywhere. <laughs> Those are for me. They can actually simplify the designs of the bosses a lot, a lot more, and it'll reduce the lag. It's just too much detail. It's like a treasure hunt. You have to go find the bags. Another comrade in arms. First, I lost Samara. Now I lost. Mike. Oh wow! Oh, wait, unless he went back up to the spot. That's real funny, John. Thanks. <laughs> you didn't grab it. It's it's funny. It's funny the second time you do it, but not like the fiftieth time. It's rude at that point. I'm just grabbing loot bags. Yep. Yeah, yep. When you see somebody grabbing a loot bag, you don't go in and swipe it from. No, them. there were uh, like, like two or three loot bags. I went for the closest loot bag. Uh. Well, nothing special in those two. I only got two XP cards. Oh, I uh, didn't get any XP cards. I just got food. And I got them from yellow bags. The red bags only now and then drop like a vibranium pickaxe, and that's it. I got a vibranium shovel and a vibranium pickaxe. Oh, I got a vibranium chainsaw, two of them, level six. Can you put the dies in there? What's this pillar here? Was this for you, Cone? Oh, that just um, denotes the extent of my land claim block. Oh, cool. Just so that if anybody wanted to put one close, they could know where mine starts and stops. Okay, uh, got some 762 back. Put that away. Is there only one trader in this uh, city? Yeah, yep. Unfortunate. 
If you wanna check the map, it's in the channels. Chat. Check it now. Probably just sell this stuff. Book. Anyone need a specific yeah, book still? Yes. Still urban combat. Yep. Actually, if you come over here and put them in the three for all boxes. Check the two boxes. Free for all things. I just realized I'm like 30% infected. Uh, Ravenous game that I restarted. I found the Tesco on day 8. It took me 5 in game days to loot the entire place. Yeah, that, that place is insane. If you can find that on what day 1. Did? Uh, there's in uh, Ravenos is a place called Tesco. It's a massive, massive superstore. Brandon in chat said it took him five days to clear out the whole place. Tesco? Oh my Tesco, God, look yeah. for that then. It's insane. <laughs> I mean, I, like, it, it, wait a minute. On my Ravenos game, I Tesco. Yeah. Are you know Costco? Mining you done. You have Best Buy over there, Sam? Bola done. What? Get a boy Best, done. Uh, not Best Buy. BJ's? Do you have a BJ's <laughs> over there, too? <laughs> <clears throat> Here, John. Mm hmm? Take this. What do you think? Sam's always happy. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, thank you. It's basically a Costco. In yeah, the back room I heard it also has like 50 plus boxes in it. And another top floor to the left has an insane amount of bookcases. Well, I went into... Well, what the hell is it called? What was that yesterday? In the winter biome. I started doing the NZ bunker. And... Uh, yeah, I had to back out. I was running out of ammo, and I was only on the second level. And there's a lot of a lot of bosses. I wonder if that's the one we did. You gotta open a lot of garage doors and go down levels. I think so. Yeah. Were Were you with us, Bob? I don't know if he was. No, with us. I think yeah, I think I it was us and uh, uh... Martin. Was Fox. Martin? Yeah, Fox. Yeah. <laughs> Well, for some reason, I want to say whoa. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's not right. That's all right. Um... Ooh. I see you. As she skies Red roses too. This blue is so bright, it's basically like a, a purple. NZ blue. One hit. Yes. Can you come to my base for one second? Uh oh. You're in trouble. Can I see you in my office? <laughs> Check this yeah. flux. Flux box. First aid? No, no, flux. Flux. Whatever. Flux. Get your decoration for your face. <laughs> I already have a pool table. Whatever you need. I'm just gathering everything that you can pick it up. Nice. 
Yeah. Oh, goblin hose. There is a flag for USA flag, something like that. We can just remove those mushrooms. Um. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't really okay. need those anymore. You have all the posters? I have uh, some of them. Uh, those are the ones that I found for, like, the candies and stuff. There's, like, Mega Crush and um, Rock Busters, I think. Yeah, Rock Busters. Passing gas. Wall. Sign. Boy, this I was passing gas earlier today. Woo there's one. <laughs> there's one for two uh, kinds of nachos. Nachios, they call them. Eye candy. <laughs> fork bites. Nerd tats. <laughs> Who can make the drone cargo mod? I, I can. Please. You got the four. two calendars? How many? I, I have one of those, yeah. Those? Six? Two of them. <laughs> you want six? Let me yeah. see. Uh... You can put six on the drone because it's level six. Oh, I have plenty of mats. Brandon, imagine I do that on day 36, 37. If you do that on day 8 and there's so many boxes and stuff, at least then this will still be beginner uh, mobs. But now I'm already starting to get like way more radiators and bosses and stuff. Ooh, that place is going to be insane. But I think it'll be fun to actually clear that out with a bow and arrow. Oh, there okay, 5 times 6, that's 30 steel. Nope, 60. Open. Can you turn it? Can I wire it? I wonder. Yes. Uh, well, let's, uh. 24, 24. Two different posters of one. Okay, I have the resources oh, here in the go. workstation. <laughs> open. And actually, from the flag, you can get variations. Did you try that? Yeah, I've made I made one of these once. There's I'm a whole bunch thinking... of the, uh... Hmm. Oh, tread on me, is that what it says? That POI would be awesome to loot. I wonder if I shouldn't try... But the only way I'd actually find that Costco is if I were to use the uh, open tele uh, the POI teleporter. Because I've already seen all of the... I've passed so many tier 5 and 6 POIs, like military installations and stuff. Huge, huge Don't places. Don't you dare what? use that POI teleporter. That's cheating. Yeah, I know. I said that's the only way I can find it, unless I'm super, super lucky. The flag is... Well, wouldn't it be lo located in one of the bigger um, cities, though? No, it's, uh, it's like in its own place away from uh, civilization. It's like a where wilderness is, yeah. QI. Where is the naked girl calendar? Place wasn't radiated. I know you oh. can go. Um, I know TBF Gaming oh. did a series on like well, these living I guess I don't there. Have that one. Oh, it's have... not radiated. Yeah, so it's a massive, massive superstore. You go in there and it's just, it's huge. Absolutely. If you look at this um, jail over here, it's at least 10 times the size of the jail. At least. It's so huge that if you walk on the roof, the roof actually starts caving in. The structure is just hanging on my uh, thread. But I've passed so many, I've passed prisons, like uh, custom combo pack prisons that are so huge as well. It's like having uh, uh, five of the corrections facilities next to each other. But those places oh, are completely radiated. Funny enough, if you pass them, they don't uh, lag that much. But I think as soon as the zombie starts spawning in, oh, ouch! I think that's also why in Seven that you'll actually now see zombies spawning in like room by room by room. That so doesn't cause too much lag. Damn, Brandon says it took me five days to loot. I had to make like 150 trips back and forth. Wow, that sounds I mean, like as, fun. As long as you have a proper vehicle, I think it's gonna be nice. <laughs> You could make two episodes on that. Just might two. Have to find that. <laughs> Just two. <laughs> and Ravenhurst, she'd probably definitely have to make several, what, about 
10, 15 chests of those. Uh, Over the, here. The big ones. Hey, if I find oh, that POI, I'm moving into it. My serum. Sorry, my, Iron Man. My serum what? collector won't work, but it doesn't matter because I already have like a whole box full of them. Have you tested the vibranium rounds for the penetrator? Does it does it work as nope. armor piercing? Nope. Nope. I didn't test it because <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be uh, mannequin armor piercing. But um, it might be armor piercing through one if you uh, have that um, penetrator perk. If you got your penetrator out. I have five and five in penetrator. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, might at least get one. I mean, if you uh, if you YouTube um, TBF Gaming, um, his latest I do. I watch his videos. Yeah, his latest series is in that uh, POI. He lives oh, in that POI. Okay. Well. Right. Is that place? <laughs> it's huge. He actually, it's so big you could actually make his a horde base in the back room, in the the factory in the back. Yeah, I watched. Might have been his last one. Last episode he just released, maybe. Hmm. I think he was busy driving around in the latest one. So it wouldn't be that one, it'd be like the one before it or so. Yeah, basically he's, uh, he, he finds it on like day one and he moves in there. Change, you scared me. <laughs> I have the resources for you. For what? For the, oh, I didn't need it. Take him back. I'm, I got plenty. I got plenty. All right, Sam. Good night, Sam. You're in these two work. You're in these two workbenches. Thank you. Oh. Hey, go in this ammo box right here and grab some 762. Don't you and um, Fox use it? He uses some. I, just got I two use sticks. vibranium now. I should probably switch oh, to it. Oh, there's a wandering board. Ward. Yep. Oh, there's a lot. I like the size of, of the wards. These guns take care of them. I love it. You see the helipad Martin made? Yeah, it looks cool. Are oh, you at least better at landing that than you are at the one in Wasteland? Hush you. <laughs> Do you remember how long it took you to try and land that thing? And I crashed. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this Ravenous series is going to go all the way into Alpha 22, because there's just still so much left to do. It's basically like Rebirth, yeah. the amount of uh, content that I can still make out of it. You know that Rebirth series of mine had 150 episodes. Yeah. Come on, really? Yeah. I don't remember that. Yeah, Rebirth was actually pretty fun. Watch some of it. Never played it. It's definitely worth the play. I wish that traders would give you more. Like you said, quests. I do love the wandering courts. The limited amount of quests that you get right now, they should make. I, I think what would really fit this mod well is if they also had like super infested quests where the lower tiers had way more zombies. So even if, if they could call it tier 7 or tier 8 or whatever, send you to a small POI and there's like 10 times the amount of zombies in there. Because then it, it doesn't just limit you to you, uh, all these big POIs over the, and over again, the same ones over and over and over and over. Tomorrow I'm going to first uh, record the last three of uh, Ravenous for the week. And I'm definitely going to try those infesteds. Two more rifle books, and now I can make a level five vibranium sniper rifle. All this right, guys, I gotta go. I'm gonna get me something to eat. Okay, see you, man. Had Chinese buffet earlier, so I am not hungry. You will be soon, though.
you think? <laughs> I had such Actually, a massive breakfast. I haven't MSG. eaten since. I'm eating uh, frozen mango chunks right now, to be honest with you. <laughs> I love mango. My twin brother and I, we went to a place that usually it's, uh, it's a half a chicken and chips for like $3. And it, it fills you up so much. We went for there for that, and wait, they didn't wait. have it this time. It's like Back a special. Up. It's like a special <laughs> place runs, and um, but they had the platter for I think it was like ten dollars, and it basically had two uh, steaks, two ribs, two chicken pieces, two. Oh, it was like a whole plate full of stuff. Man, when we walked out of there, you could actually we had to unbutton our belts. How big are the steaks? It's just a, a, a 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter kind of thing. So like a 10 ounce steak? Uh, I don't know ounces. <laughs> I can't answer that. Oh. <laughs> you and your American um, measurements. And me and my South African <laughs> measurements. <laughs> measurements in general suck. <laughs> Y'all come back now. Oh, you don't have so any really good stuff for you. Let's throw that fire. Who wants to join me to the uh, ostrich uh, hotel? The tier six. What are you saying, you? I'm in the uh, camera. I have a cafe. task for you. You the man. Because this place has like a ton of screamers and uh, guardians. Ostrich ain't too, too, too bad. I love it. I did it the other day. Jeez. Me and me and Fox did it, and uh, yeah, it was definitely packed. <laughs> I did it with Sam, and um, this uh, place was just crawling with bosses. Wow, the two NPCs just jumped me at the same time in this POI. Almost killed me. Two NPCs. How did they almost kill? Uh, did they have guns or? Yeah. What what guns one were they using? One had a shotgun, the other one had a pistol. You said, well, I haven't had any NPCs that were really that much of a danger. I thought they were just like, eh, they're weak. But you're saying it almost killed you. Yeah, it was down to 50. I'll come with you, Gene. You want to go get this airdrop? The tier 6 infested. The airdrops are nice. But at our levels, they're really not that great. Except for food bundles. I like that they put the food Oops. bundles in. I like that. You're so focused on the prize, you don't even realize what you're hitting on the way there. Man, this is actually pretty far away. <laughs> oh, they were both behind the counter here, that's why. You see how easy it is to hunt for animals with a compound bow? But surprisingly, there were a lot more stags and deers and stuff in the desert than the forest. A weird combo. A hundred steel blocks, nice. Oh, that is nice. I have two military armor bundles. No, one leather, one bonus. military, one steel. Bonus. Range are three. Bonus ones are. Uh... Just his military armor bundle. Oh, there's their level threes then. I think it also depends on your um your armor skill. If you can craft uh, a certain quality, you should be able to get level sixes. Yeah, no. Unless it says um whatever super or something, I can't remember Legendary. the exact wording. Legendary, then it's not. Oh. The plane which are always level three, no matter what your skill is. I'm on my way to the POI now. I'm just mutsing around. No muss, no fuss. The 
Let's see if I can sneak in here and see what we can do here. Are going for the final stash? I am. Oh, whoa! You can do okay. it. I can't watch. You can't do it. Did you hear the silent tea? Whoa, that's a lot of stutter right now. Damn. Cheer. I see that turret. Did we kill that uh, scream over there? Yep. Back up with the turrets to the work. That's why they're there. <laughs> We're gonna need this in the top floors. I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh my god! Holy cow, so much stuff. You guys didn't grab the sealed shipping crate down here. Where? Over here in the ground? It's underneath rubble that you have to destroy, but there's a hidden stash. Yep. Down here. Huh. Oh, didn't know that. Come on, boys. You're with us. Are you outside? Yeah. Already got the final stash. Yes, sir. Okay, let's go. Ready, steady. What the hell? I fell. Oh, there's a screamer somewhere. On the way up, you can actually I see your cursor. I hate the movement of the going up the ladder. You're doing the scissor, scissor kicks all the way up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to I'll climb a ladder, the man. I hear you, birdie. Watch out, all of them are coming to you now. Oh, no, they're not. Why are all of them coming to me? I, <laughs> did I aggro all of them? You aggroed the whole, <laughs> the whole group. I thought they were going to you because on that side of the uh, walk over here they were running. And all of them actually came to me. Yeah. I thought they were coming to me too. I was ready for them. Okay, now. Where's the one up? There's, there's, we're mi oh, that must be on this, the floor down below. Oh, ladies, hello. Sorry, I don't have enough money on me. Where are those blue scrolls? You see the move. The blue scroll is the yellow scroll. Oh, above you. Watch out behind you. They must have climbed the ladder from the bottom. I think I'm, on, I'm only going to go for the final stash. And let's wake them all. <laughs> We have a stream already. Hello. Yeah. 
<laughs> the one behind you, <laughs> this janitor, looks like he's still running at you. Oh my god! Oh, they're all the coming up the steps. Watch out, watch out, watch out! I saw, the board board I, saw. I saw the uh, minimap, but I couldn't tell where they were coming from just now. <laughs> that was funny. Cool stuff coming from down below. Oh, I meant to ask. Damn it. What? Oh. Iron Man, if. What, what, what? I had to reload just now and she came from out of nowhere. Dogs. You, you meant to ask Iron Man? My senses have if, um, at that higher level, his new stage, he's getting level 6 vibranium weapons. Ooh, that screamer is actually calling a lot of enemies downstairs. They must have made a hole somewhere because damn. Uh, phone call, hold on. Guard him. Hey Nathan. Yeah, someone was having a lot of fun in that room. Ready? Ready, steady. Oh, it's still on the phone. To make sure all the sides are done. Do you need any lavender bandages? Nope, I have a ton on me. Yeah, me too. Tier 8 storages in Ravenhurst are amazing. They have 100 slots. Really? Yep. But you need 100 forger head books. Do you need any books? Nope. Actually. Okay. There's a lot of uh, zombies coming up here now. Yep. Come on. 
was so hard in my room today that I had to put my earphone on my left ear and open my right. And on my left ear it feels like it actually had some water in it. It was too hot. Look at this guy. He's actually eating the bandit. <laughs> oh yeah, these rooms are empty. Oh no no no, they're not. The bathroom. You Big gotta boys. check the bathroom. Yeah. I hate it when they block the doors. I mean, it makes sense they're dying in the doorway. But damn, man. Holy crap. No, no, don't say that. Where are you? That wasn't that bad. Looky, looky. I don't... It was worse when I went near with Sam, so his level must have boosted them. But I'm such a low level compared to you guys. Yep, watch out behind you. My level, I'm higher than Sam. Back when we did this together, we only got like, um, guardians. This is weak sauce, man. Weak sauce. Wow, it got dark. Oh, it's dark for you too? People are actually complaining about uh, Darkness Falls as Darkness. The guy said, yeah, he put his gamma. He put his gamma all the way to 100% uh, and he still can't see. I was like, yeah, but that's a feature of Darkness Falls. That's when why Darkness it's called Darkness Falls. Falls. Master, we are not alone. When you use like 50 bullets to kill one snake. Where'd you I've come from? Oh, I got a broken arm. Give me my splint. And broken arm is healed. These dogs freezing in place like this looks so weird. Did you go down the stairs? Yep. Is this the door that you're supposed to leave the place in? Oh, out of? That's where the wandering wards came through, the screamers. Ooh, is that a guardian? No, like super experiment level 4. In this one over here. Wingardium Leviosa. Oh crap, scream up. Oh crap. Watch out. My senses have picked up something. It's not like taking shock and burn at the same time. But damn, your gun degrades fast when you're uh, interacting with her. Yeah, if you're the first to interact with her, you get that purple debuff. Oh crap, there's a screamer somewhere. Oh, 
need to be careful because the screamer will definitely start calling in um, guardians. Even though we're not getting guardians now. Oh, oh, that scared the crap out of me. That face looking at me as soon as I enter, uh, go through the door. Oh. Where are you? Uh, just to allow me behind you. Uh, allow me to max out forge heads. I have tier eight already. I couldn't make them until day 35, 40 last day. Day 15, you lucky bastard. <laughs> Damn. I'm on day 34, 35, and I've now only been able to make tier 8s. So the fact that you got them on tier 15, oh, tier, day 15 already. Damn. Alright, I put hatches down here, Gene. Why? <laughs> Let's make them up and just Why? shoot them in the doorways of you. That's what I usually do. I've got a bad feeling about this. Hello. Oh, I wanted to shoot, but nope, that did not work. He's gonna get stuck in the bottom of you. Oh, that was dumb, Jean. I had to reload just now. Me. Oops. <laughs> oh. I had we to reload just it. now and I was so, super slow while reloading. Oh, behind you. Oh, they're all coming to that side. <laughs> Here, I'll help. Reload. Am I on fire? Or is the screen on fire? I can't tell. The screen's on fire. I think. I think it's the boss, the super experiment one. When he does that, it's just the screen that goes on fire, not everything. It basically blocks visibility, but I think it's supposed to burn everything. Just the demo left. Well, things done. So. But they still. Uh, did you know there's a demo inside the um, elevator there? Elevator, yeah. I always wonder where the hell infected. I was coming from. There'll be two of them, Gene, because it's an infected. My senses have picked up something. Oh crap! There's a screamer. My whole- the, the curse is huge. That's a banshee. Cone, heal yourself, buddy. Oh! You made a hole of your plan. I didn't even notice. That person's huge. Damn. Where's this? It's one of them. I'm not sure, never sure which one. I think it's perhaps this one in the middle of here. Nope. There's supposed to be another piece of floor that caves in, I think. Oh, there it is. Here it is. Oh, crap. You're stuck down there, right? Let's just do this. No, 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 I wasn't stuck. I <laughs> used my it. auger to open the box and, and it broke it all the way open. I got rid of it. I hate when that happens. When you accidentally delete something. Then you say to yourself, that, that's going to have what I needed. Was that just you? Uh, uh, Cone, did you also hear that? Or was that just on my side? Oh, that. Yeah, I heard that too. That okay. was funny. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. Must have been, uh... Discord. It's been a while since we actually had that robot problem. Where all of us have to leave a channel and rejoin it just so it doesn't sound like robots. I should actually take my dirt bike in Ravenous and just drive up and down and up and down in search of uh, bigger POIs. 
I mean, even though I haven't found the Tesco yet, the military installations and the prisons I've found are insanely huge. It's going to take me forever just to clear them out. Some of them, basically, if there were tier 7s and 8s in the game, that would be it. That's how huge they are. I see the... I see you're finally getting a strong, uh, a, a set hold in, uh, uh Darkness, Falls. Darkness Falls. Yeah, finally. <laughs> Although still with a little bit of the ammo I have, um, it's difficult, like when I did the Razor's quest. Uh, when you don't have enough ammo and you just have to run and hopefully just, uh, avoid them. But other than that, I'm starting to, yeah, starting to actually succeed. I say now and then the next episode I die. I should not be too cocky. I don't want to. I, I, I'm not gonna jinx you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I might have already jinxed myself. Like, yeah, it's easy. I've been doing it really super well. I love when you said that and you died in the next sentence. I was like, oh no, <laughs> this guy. <laughs> he's doing. Oh, he's dead. Fuck. At least it's not a permadeath. Like we can completely start over from scratch because that would get annoying. Especially on insane difficulty. But the fact that you can at least still keep your stuff and your base or your works uh, or your vehicle or whatever, that's cool. But it does suck because now you find a legendary weapon and there you lose the legendary weapon. That's why, like like I said, Kane, if he thinks he's going to die, he throws a box down ASAP. Doesn't mess with it. He's just like, no, I know I'm going to die. This isn't a good spot. Bing, bing, bang, boom. Unfortunately, mine so far, I, I, I think you've noticed, every time I die, it's instant. Like, it's not even like I, I expected, I just uh, die. Like, but I take dumb chances, that's why. Yeah, Kane doesn't take the chances, and he's constantly losing, using his spear. It's like TBF, he uh, usually says, uh, oh, there's radiated, so let's not do it now. And me, early game, uh, oh, there's radiated, so let, let's see if we can do it. Yeah, the well, big let's, difference let's in playstyle. <laughs> uh, the big difference too is, is you know, you're... Well, the big difference w w between you and Kane is that you're on Insane Nightmare and he's only on, I think, Warrior. I, mean, he's not, I think he's survivalist. Oh, is he? You're still yeah. a one ahead of him. Yeah, the Insane Difficulty, basically, body shots are useless. Go, friend. Here you go, friend. Just say the word. One of these infested tier six is like five kilometers, four kilometers, three kilometers. Even if your fives are kind of far away. The bunker isn't that far away. One point two. Friend, Nevis Gan General Hospital. That's why I feel like some of these. We should be able to go to a normal tier 3 or 4 and just be overrun with enemies. I think that would be a really cool addition. Dog days are over. My god. Finally. Oh, you need a sniper rifle, G? Nope. I have a level 6. Although, I should probably use them all. I'm gonna go make the level 5, uh... It's been a real pleasure. Uh, it's a shame this town only has one trader, man. But that's what I really love about the Darkest Falls super map. It's literally the... Uh, um, I wonder if I can actually show it. Let me just see if I can actually show it this way. I'll have to enable screen capture. Where, 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 where? Renderer map. Yeah, basically this. I have to go to OBS screen capture. For those of you guys watching, this over here is the Darkness Falls map. Let me just actually take away some of this stuff. Let's only show traders. Oh, you showed this before. You showed that before. But it's awesome. That's all. Uh, it's a 4K map, and that's just cities. Look how awesome. The, the, the traders are super close to each other. The tra uh, cities are all connected. 
there's basically no travel distance between cities. Obviously, unless you go from like this point all the way to the north. But that it's awesome. I love it. I think if I'm not mistaken, we are here at the moment. This is Jen. Yeah, because the snow is there. Yeah, this is Jen over here where we are on at the moment. So that one quest took us, I think, up the road over there. Yeah, I'm kind of confused as to where the map points to. But basically, this is all city. Imagine if uh, if, uh, if the uh, all the maps were actually made like this. I think this 4K map is actually enough for um, single player, or enough for multiplayer as well. Heck, you could play with Lutri still. Really? The, the amount of cities, I'm, in, I'm telling you, it's insane. And the, the POIs over there, these are all like pep and custom POIs and stuff. It's awesome. What's the lag though? It's such a big city, you know? But funny enough, I'm not getting any lag on the map. If I do get lag, I'm like, okay, yeah, there's a wandering horde somewhere. Okay. Okay. Come back tomorrow to get new goods daily. But usually a city as big as this has a trader there, there, and there, or there and there. But there's only one in this city. Let me just check Discord quickly. Apparently there's a picture of this. Oh, did you put it in the chat room? Um, I think it's a picture of this map. Yeah, but I think you put it in chat in this one. Go so chat. Well, now where are we? We are in the desert at Maya. We are, I, I don't know if we're here or yeah. I think we're in this one. It's the biggest desert town at the moment. It seems all the cities only have one trader. Damn. So why do we sometimes get like two or three traders in a city? That's unfortunate. No, there's no, no city that you have two or three. They're Although, close. A couple that have close in the winter, but nothing... Although in the wasteland, um, those two cities are actually very nice uh, in proximity to each other. How dangerous is the wasteland? I haven't been to the wasteland yet. I don't think oh, so. Oh, it's fun. The damn, you got to watch for the dragons. They're a pain. They're f they f throw fire. But it's fun. It's like, yeah, it's like a carpet of Molotovs. Oh, isn't it though? It's like you, you think you're avoiding one and you're getting smashed with more. <laughs> Kill Kujo Jr. 10. Massive spread. In Age of Oblivion, I'm going to have to start doing more of those Oblivion quests. Progress that series a bit. And you got to get the, up to 80 on the... Quests. On the quest ones itself, definitely. The thing is with mods that introduce so many like new features and skills and stuff, sometimes you get so caught up in the one skill you forget about the other stuff. Um, whether it's you, you get caught up in the vanilla and you forget about the mod, or caught up in the mod you forget about vanilla, and in the end you have to try and get a nice balance between the two. Damn, heal! what a markup. I sold him a tier 6 power thing for... Uh, 3,600, he marked it up to 18,000. <laughs> well, he didn't say he's a friend. <laughs> I'm gonna prove it to you. It's like when you go to a computer store and you want to sell your, uh, like an old computer or whatever. Or you want to sell a ton of games that you spend so much uh, cash on and they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let me just give you 10 bucks for all of it. Oh, you want to go, excuse me? This is six hundred dollars worth of games. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. Let's give you ten and a half. <laughs> Ooh, it's nighttime. Didn't know that. <laughs> it's almost midnight, and I now realize. Did you get to the trader before nighttime? Yeah. Miss these old pure eyes. 
There used to be a pure island called the Forge House. Always they had a working forge. And then later alphas they managed so the forge was broken. One thing I can't wait for is the fact that the wasteland is going to be in the middle of the map. Alpha 15 vibes. I just wish I could bring that music back. It was so freaky. Oops. Oopsie. This pure eye over here is the reason why I don't do um, permadeath series. AFK a minute, guys. In the back over there, there's a hatch you're supposed to go down into. And you go underneath and there's like a four-way split where you have to go up into rooms. And I did a, a, a permadeath series and there were no zombies in the room. As soon as I step into the room, they just go. Oh. And in a panic, I actually threw a pipe bomb blowing myself up. Remember that I was like, oh yeah, I'm not using my NPCs. And then I realized, um, yeah, this isn't Oblivion. Oh, that's right, I need to make burgers and stuff. I forgot about that. I would have gone mining, uh, and then also used the XP elixirs and stuff like uh, Iron Man said. Completely forgot about that, damn. Basically for those of you guys watching, you can make, um, with a ground beef, you can make a burger, and it gives you 50% XP. So 50% XP plus a XP elixir go mining and you can get a lot of XP that way. I think we're playing on 50% XP, right? I don't remember. I, don't, I can't remember if it's 100 it or not. Sounds right. I don't think I th it sounds right. It's Hello, Guardian. Hello, Guardian. But I know, for some reason, mining still gives 100% no matter what mod you play. I mean, in Darkness Falls, they already made it low anyway, so there you're gonna get low anyways. What is this place? Bandits. No, thank you. Oh, wait, what? I'm getting shot. Oh, is the wasteland radiated? Oh yeah, the wasteland's radiated. <laughs> You don't have the thing on, you gotta tie. I forgot about that. I was like, why is my HP so low? <laughs> oh, damn it. I'm so far in, I have to get my bike. I was you like, why the hell? The oh, no. Yeah, since I died, I have to take all of the stuff off, you put it back on. Her. I couldn't understand why my HP was that low. I was like, wait, something attacking me. <laughs> Oh, that was funny. That's funny. Oh, damn well, it. Not all, and now all of us have done it. Yeah. <laughs> I was so, I was just so, uh, what do you call it, out of it. Oh, damn it. <laughs> he was so engrossed on getting to what you had to do. Checking damn. the wasteland out. Do you have the Maybe. wasteland mod? I uh, don't think so. Oh, damn. Cheese, cheese, whole milk. You make whole milk? Nope. I think I can buy it if the trader sells it. I didn't see one in there. I can make you one. <laughs> I forgot. I was like, there's a laser. A wasteland isn't radiated in this one, right? I completely forgot that the biomes all have their own effects to them. Um, yeah. I'm making you one. It'll be ready in two minutes. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> For a moment, my what brain was like, huh? Huh? Yeah. What? Because I, I was hearing gunfire in the distance. I'm like, why the hell am I dying? I, I don't feel the bullets hitting me. 
And then I clicked, oh crap, wasteland. But it's literally only as I had like 20 HP left that I clicked, oh crap, yeah, I forgot. A little bit late. Just a tiny little bit. You have another vehicle to get up there? Yeah, I have a mini bike. And I think it's going to be faster running with a Mega Crush. That confusion just now, like, what the hell is happening? Everybody in your chat is saying, John, you're dying. Nah, at chat's quiet tonight. <laughs> it could have been a ton of, ha ha. Seems it was that my webcam is just off center, but that's why it was deleting my one shoulder. It's still a little bit off center. Fifty seconds left. Red, white, and blue. Hey, um, come check this book box. See if you need anything. Clear. Even if you want to take some of those yellow note quests, please, go ahead. Pistol done. Enforcer. Is it Urban Combat 6 or 7 that Sam wants? It's 6, right? Is it? I have a six in there? There's a seven in here, that's what I'm asking. Which is the one he wants? No, it's six. Yeah, it's definitely six. You hope. <laughs> Imagine, <laughs> how could you, Jean? Uh, hit beats. And I'm off. Oops. Wondering I was taking damage, I was stepping on the spikes. <laughs> Me and damage, we go hand in hand. When the guns can't get to them and they're standing there banging on that damn the gate, <laughs> the spikes rip them in pieces. I love it. <laughs> I should have actually gone and uh, picked up my vehicle just before I died. Because we have it so we don't uh, lose our stuff. I would have been able to have my vehicle on this side. Oh well, this gives me the opportunity to also look for some more meat. Also to look for uh, vibranium as you go through. Oh, it's only on the surface. Only on the surface. I gotta go mine coal. It's in the winter biome. Are there no animals in the desert? Oh yeah. You got the... You got bears, the lions, the... I think I even passed a dragon on the way there. I'm gonna hear that screaming soon again.
Does someone have charismatic nature? I do. I say because I see the skull. It's weird how it works on a server. The moment you have an effect, uh, uh, the moment it um, helped you once, it doesn't go away. The effect stays. Even if you were to log off, until I log off, the effect is there. Really? I didn't realize that. Yep. Ooh, Snow Guardian. You might want to avoid him. Nah, I can oh. do it. Okay. Sorry. You don't know me. Who's going to carry the boat? Oh, the dragon's actually shocking right now. Ooh. I keep deleting the um, dragon. I can't harvest it. Uh, yeah, it tough, just takes man. one. It just takes one shot. That's there's no margin for error. And he hovers in the air. When you kill him, it takes him a second before he starts falling. Yeah. So you think he's still there, and you shoot one more time, and it gets around. Yep. And he's gone. <clears throat> Beef. Walking burger, come ya. Holstein cow. That it only gives you five milk. No. It gives what? Five milk. Oh, it gives me three because I'm using an, an axe to skin it. I use my. What the heck did I? Yeah, what is this thing again? I if you use any kind of knife. I'm oh. using my spear and it gives me five. After, um... I get, I get ten with a knife, I think. Probably then a skill that yeah. I would have. After, uh, Oblivion yesterday, I actually got a Wandering Horde and the one tourist dropped like a legendary uh, knife. Luckily enough, in this mod, you don't have to worry about Animal Tracker. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, it's like default. Yeah, it's 67 HP left, so I was like, yeah, it's taking two, only 2 HP per hit with the axe. So let me just try shooting with a sniper rifle, and he just disappeared. But it looked like he shot up into the air. Have the vehicles what? in Age of Oblivion launched you yet, uh, Bob? Um, when I started playing this mod, I stopped playing Age of Oblivion. Because Age of Oblivion, the RV sent me flying twice. The second time I had to, uh, mid-flight go into, uh, god mode, into flight mode, just to catch myself before I hit the uh, floor again. I didn't do, uh, I didn't get any RVs. All Batmobiles. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how I, I, every 10 minutes that the trader changes to what you can buy, right? Yeah. This is ten, it's a 10 minute swing. So I had enough. I didn't have quite enough. I, I needed I, like three more tokens. So that's one more card. I'm out trying to find it and couldn't find a car to save my freaking life. I go back and I think I got it. I said, oh, I still have enough time. I go back, and just as I open the trader, he changes. Resets. <laughs> yes. So now, you can wait, because there's so many different times. You can wait up to 30 minutes. And I was like, I'm not waiting here. I got to go. <laughs> I can't do this. But I've actually I'm seen, like, one time it actually showed me I can get the, um, what's it called? The bat tumbler. And when I try and uh, actually buy it, it uh, shows that I can't. It's still locked. I don't know how that works. It's, uh, it says it changes every 10 minutes, but the one time it showed that I could buy it, when I tried to buy it, it was still locked. That's weird. Okay. 
There's no coal in the desert, right? It's just shale. Yes, I think. I think that I've found coal in the desert. You have. He's okay. lying. I see lead. I see plenty of nitrate. I see steel, shale. We just said that. Maybe I. Uh, you you know that place where you were digging for coal in the forest? That's where yeah. I had mined it. But I thought I had wow. found some underground in the desert. Maybe I. It it could have been it could have been the forest. Now that I think about it. I know there's some in the. Oh wait, I have a coal mine. Was it you that was mining there, or Fox? I think it might have been Fox. No, I have a coal mine. I didn't even know I had a coal mine. That's cool. <laughs> oh, is that what the uh, uranium ore oh, really? thing looks wait. like? Yeah, the vibranium. Vibranium. There's so many different uranium, vibranium. Be careful things. when you do it. You don't go too far under or the whole thing disappears. You know, it'll collapse. And a small stone, must I leave that? Yes. Yeah, that it responds. That, that way it responds, yeah. We just destroy it. <laughs> well, I actually had, in all, all four of my workstations, oh, I had oh. like four or five stands okay. each. And uh, I, so I have like a few stacks of uh, the stuff at the base. Is that cool Joe over there? Hello, doggy. Guys, I'll be back in a, a few minutes. Okay. What are you guys talking about? This place is filled with this stuff. Yeah, because you're looting it now and I looted it two days ago. I have more at the base though. Although to be fair, this was a few seconds worth and I was able to get so much. And I had to leave it on the server in the workstations for the stuff to uh, scrap down just to get a, a lot more. My have picked up something. Have they now, drone? Have they now? Is she friendly? She looks friendly. What a place to walk with a baseball bat. There's boss level creatures and bandits and stuff all over, but no, she has a baseball bat. She's safe. Hello, dragon. Are you coming for me? You're not coming for me, right? Is he always aggro or? Only if you have a little bit of health. Gone. If not, he'll just keep flying overhead. He doesn't have to the hitbox in the stone is weird. There's one spot. If you always swing around so that you're facing east and hit it from that direction, usually it uh, goes pretty goes pretty quickly. I'm looking south right now. How fast uh, does this go when you actually try and use it? This uh, resource. Uh, it depends on what you're doing. If you have those special glasses, then you can make... You can use it all up in seconds. Because you can make casings with the raw vibranium, and then you... Obviously, you can make this. the forged vibranium for upgrades or use it to make weapons and things. I wonder if I should go for the so, forge for upgrades or if I should go for weapons. some forged vibranium to make the uh, for vibranium weapons, but the raw stuff, the ammo. So I don't know, maybe half and half? It actually takes a while for this uh, auger to chop it down. I mean, it's still fast, but uh, if you consider this is a vibranium auger level 6, fully modded, 
It takes a while to actually chop this thing. Yeah, Oh yeah, I forgot about the- I need to- I still need to make myself some burgers. Although, I mean, I'm not really mining at the moment. I'm just more or less grabbing resources here and there. There's a survivor, Carl, who has no weapons. He's down in the snow. Hey, what's my goal? Where was I supposed to go? I need to kill 10 of these doggies. Oh, only- Whoa, I've only killed three. My senses have picked up something. Basically, that Tesco in Ravenous is so huge that if I do find it, I'm moving there. But because moving all the stuff away from there to my base is going to take too long. I mean, uh, it's going to be... If uh, Iron Man finds that place, it's his dream. Because um, there's so many vehicles on the outside that he can actually go and wrench. I'm gonna get to the two cities, but I'm not sure exactly where I am right now. How did I pass this? I'm not seeing anything in the distance. I don't think I'm anywhere close to a city right now. No! Aw, oh, damn. You're in between the two cities. If you go northeast a little bit, you'll come to another city. At in least northwest. Sorry. At least you're not watching the stream, so you didn't uh, didn't see what I just accidentally did. Did you collapse the node? What are you talking about? That's not possible. <laughs> There's 150 HP. How's that possible? Couldn't. I heard you couldn't do that. I haven't done it yet, but you watch, it'll probably happen in the next one I harvest. But it's because the hitbox on this thing is so weird. If you start accidentally easy, just go through the block uh, without reloading it. How much do I have on me at the moment? I think for now I can actually stop with this. What do you say? I get this burst of speed every once in a while, and I don't know why. Is it when you're on a road path? No, sometimes, I'm just running through the wasteland. Uh, what do I say? Sometimes, uh, when you, uh, depending on the mod, like Ravenous, for example, if you're running on the road, you get a speed boost. Yeah. Oh, there's a dragon above goals. I, I wonder if it's after I kill a zombie. Nothing's popping up. No buff is popping up on my screen, so... You need assistance. You need assistance. Radiation ready mod. <laughs> huh. A little bit late for that. Vibranium mace, vibranium sword. Safe travels. Safe travels, friend. Is this the uh, west or the east city that I'm in right now? You're in the west, the city that's the west. I don't know if there's anything further west. There might be. I haven't been that far. There's basically two cities next to each other. So there's one west, one east. Yeah. You're in the one that's further northwest. There's another one southeast. From here. Master, we are not alone. Oh, 
I'm looking for this POI. But the one that actually has the resources. Because I know for a fact. I don't know if it's uh, been removed in A21 or something. But this POI sometimes has like an open side to it. But not like the whole wall missing. Just an open side. And you can get oil shale from it as well. This one sometimes has oil shale node on the outside. But that's about it. And if you drop into the top then perhaps a little bit in the middle. But they're supposed to be as far as I'm aware. A third variant. There's one with all the walls missing. There's nothing here. And there's another one where you can actually in the middle or there's on the side of the building a lot of oil shale like in mine. But I haven't seen it in so long that I'm now actually doubting myself. How much do I have? 14,000 of that should be enough for now. It's actually a very small city. <laughs> Um, you know how my one, when people uh, subscribe, is a dog sound? I just all of a sudden I heard a dog behind me and I didn't, I almost didn't respond because I was like, yeah, that's just a subscription. But when I didn't see the pop-up, I was like, okay, there's a dog. That's a doggy doggy. Ooh. Speaking of dogs. Well, you get so I turned around when you're looking for this, this stuff. Ooh, what's the whole steam cow doing out here in the uh, wasteland? Damn. This one gave me six smoke. What? So far, every single one's been giving me three milk, and this one's giving me six milk. Where's my bike? Four more doggies. There's usually one on the left over here. Whoa, no you don't. There's supposed to be a dog close to this POI. Ah, oh, there you go. Wasteland Guardian. At least they're not super fast or something. They're not really that much of a threat. I mean, oh, they can also shoot rockets you... and stuff, but... I didn't realize that. What? The Wyvern King is actually a dragon with frozen... Bow on top, yeah. With frozen Prepare thick on top. Yeah. Yep. That's cool. I Dragon Rider. Know. They shoot rockets, but that's about it. If they were a little bit faster, that would be terrifying. It's southeast, so it's that way. Wait. Am I in the eastern or the western town? Like, are you by in the other city right now? No. You're in the western town. But I need to go east. Go ahead. Yeah. My brain just went droop again. Here, doggy, 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 doggy. One more. Ooh, another cow. Ooh, another two cows. I think I sometimes do too much damage to them. Like, I, sh I, I overkill them. It seems one shot's enough to kill them, but I usually do like three or four shots. Oh, that might be why, yeah. Because you're taking some of the... Meat. Health of the corpse away. One shot enough to kill it. Damn. But sometimes it looks like it keeps running. That's why I keep shooting. Part of that uh, death animation. Imagine if vultures also came uh, swooping down to eat the meat. It's technically that's what a vulture would do. Wait until something dies and that. What? That dog ran right through the node. Up. 
ran right through the node and hit me. I need to stretch more in between like recordings and streams and stuff. Like I'm literally sitting here, I'm uh, hooking my ankles together and then pulling together and I can crack my lower back. The pressure of sitting for four hours. It's a shame that Ravenous is so super intensive on servers and stuff. I mean, single player, I'm having trouble. Because I think a progression on the server would be excellent. Yeah, I mean, just walking past some of those really POIs, it's laggy. I can't imagine going in them. And I have mindset, well, I do now have like max 80 zombies alive. But even when there were just 64 zombies alive, um... I was getting so much lag every time zombies spawn in that if that's single player, multiplayer is going to be even worse. Any more cows? It's just the special cows that give you beef and stuff, right? Not the hogs and all those. They just give you normal meat. Tried the fishing yet in uh, Ravenhurst? No. Ravenhurst. I got a fi uh, fishing rod day one, and I got a bunch of um, worms from digging clay. Ooh, NZ toy store. Try it. This looks dangerous. You know where the thumbnail, the the uh, in Wasteland, there's also the behemoths POI. The artwork made out of stone. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's called the NZ Toy Store. I'm kind of wondering what's inside. I know there's supposed to be a lot of loot inside, if it's anything like Wasteland. Incoming enemies. Prepare for conflict. Are you friendly? Wait, who? What? That's the first time I've seen him with automatic weapon. Hey, Harley. Hey, crazy. I know there's a lot of vultures and snakes over here, but I'm wondering what else is in there. There's a lot of burn dudes for some reason. How many times do you want to miss? Yes. Oh wow, there's a lot of burn dudes over here. I mean, now my HP is taking a beating, so I need to be careful of um, the dragons. I've got a bad feeling about this. Where are you coming from? Damn. Is that a demo? Oh, yep, there's demos in there. Me go boom boom. Oh, a 
rocket launcher set. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, that's a lot of loot. That was a lot of loot just now. There's supposed to be way more of these containers upstairs as well. It's not just a one layer building, it's a multiple layer. At least in this one they have ways for you to get upstairs. In a wasteland you have to stack up on your own. Although there's less loot in this one than there is in Wasteland. At least it feels like it. Imagine getting all of that up and all of a sudden they spawn in around you. Okay, there's nothing else here. This is actually disappointing, P.I. I could have sworn there's supposed to be way more loot in this one. Okay. Ooh, you took a beating. My poor bike. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Seems it was a very long day. What is that? Everyone's so quiet today. <laughs> Are you friendly? Not gonna test. I should have enough meat now to make myself a few burgers. Although I'll need to make the uh, cheese with the milk first. Only this was Ravenhurst. I need meat. I think I'm six meat away from getting the 125 that I need. There's a quest where it says I have to hunt uh, 125. You basically get six meat per animal. And you're supposed to hunt 125. But after that, uh, after Wednesday's episode, just going out slightly uh, and mining a little bit in the, the desert biome, I was able to get most of the meat. But it's weird. I can't understand why there were so many deer and stags inside the desert biome. And they're like densely packed together. It was way easier getting meat in the desert than it is in the forest. Hmm. I've got a bad feeling about this. These long road trips are just boring. That's a nice thing about making videos. I can cut out the trips. Oh, was mining ya? Yeah. Is this a mine? What the hell? Wait, where's my bike? Did my bike just fall through the world? Am I just imagining? Well, no. 
No. That's just messed up. It shows my bike super far back now. I hit someone's... Uh, it looks like a treasure that was dug for. And because of that, my bike's not all the way no uh, back north, northeast. And I jumped off my bike and I looked around and it was gone. Why would it do that? No idea. I think it fell through the world so it reset itself and lost position and it stopped. Which means it's all the way back in that one POI that I just cleared. Over it's two, three kilometers. Professor LNPC is out in the wasteland with no weapons, punching a snake. He killed it, though. Huh. I feel like teleporting back to the bike, because that's bullshit, man. I hit a, a, like a little bit of a hole, and then when I looked around, my bike was like three kilometers back. This is pain. At least three kilometers. I, yeah, it's about two, three kilometers back. I was in the wasteland when I last stopped my bike. And I was just saying how boring the drive is, that, and that in videos you can cut it out. I have to redo the drive as well. Like the game's trying to laugh at me. You were saying? What's this zombie dog doing over here? Wait, why, why does it... The picture above him shows that of a pig. But it's a zombie dog. Hello, Boo Boo. Boo Boo the bear. Did I drink a Mega Crush? Yeah, it's still active for four minutes. It doesn't feel like it. Hello. Lamb chops. Mm. I thought what the hell was making that weird noise. I think I'm busy getting ear infection. Not a nice feeling. My senses have picked up something. Oh, zombie bull just turned into a zombie. The die wolf killed him and he just turned into a zombie and started smacking back. What is this? I basically flung my uh, bike back. Yeah, it was. It's definitely like two, three kilometers. That I've been running now. Not cool, man. Not cool. At least the mini bike's getting a little bit bigger on the compass. <laughs> I'm getting closer. Probably keep a knife on me. So it's easier skinning things. I'm using an axe, and this vibranium axe uses so much stamina. I wonder if I have the supercharger mod on my bike. I don't think so. I think I can actually make it. I need to make it as soon as possible. Is 
Those windows were out of the frames just now. I wonder in Rebirth which class I should start with when it goes live. Last time I took the Soldier class and it actually helps you with like Rage Berserker mode. And if you're running on the road you run a lot faster. Although if you go Hunter class you run faster like out in the wild. Yep, it's all the way back at this art piece over here. The toy store. All of that effort just now, I have to go all the way back. How far was it? Let's just see. I got to about there. Yeah, it's two kilometers that I had to run just now, just to get my bike back. I wonder what out route, uh, uh. Oh, couldn't stop myself from yawning just now. <laughs> I wonder what Outback Roadies and prepare, uh, Prepocalypse is like. Brian Spartan is streaming the, uh, Apocalypse series on YouTube right now, I think. I haven't watched any of it. Apparently the reason he only does streams now is because people can't excuse him from cheating if everything's live. But I think it's also just, um... I don't mean it in a mean way, but it's laziness. It's so much easier... Uh, it's so much easier streaming than it is making videos. Obviously, there are boring parts like driving long distances and stuff, but you have no, you don't have to do any editing or any uploading, or it, you're just live. You're just playing the game. If I had the choice, I'd actually also just do live streams. But not a lot of people can actually watch like hours and hours of content. It's easier to digest if it's like 35 minutes. Okay, I need to make sure I don't hit that same hole again. If I get stuck in the exact same one and it happens again. Oh. For some reason, my new uh, webcam uh, is cracked. At least it's not cracked over the lens, but I noticed uh, earlier, um, like a week ago or so, that there's like a massive scratch crack mark on the right side. Luckily, it's, uh, it has a screen. It's like a very... It's a rectangular screen. And in the very middle, there's the lens. I was happy. <laughs> if the crack was over the, the thing, you'd actually see my face split in two. I have no idea how it cracked in the first place. It's just nasty. I hit this lamb just now. You just see the blood, uh, blood pool next to it. Or if you hit something, it just turns into a pool of mist. Blood mist. Go full speed for, uh, through a zombie and you'll see. Master, we are not alone. <laughs> oh wow, lamb chops, you get a ton. Damn. I just realized I have, I got 34 lamb chops from this one lamb just now. I have a hundred and something lamb chops. Making sure to stop the vehicle every now and then to make sure that if it happens again, it doesn't teleport all the way back. It basically needs to auto save every a minute or two. What's that? Oh, someone was digging there. I thought it's a new block or hidden stash or something. I miss the plains biome. I know they're bringing back the burnt biome, but I really, really, really miss the plains biome. 
Oh wow, just hit a, an invisible wall over here. But basically in the plains biome, um, it was flat as far as I could see. And if you went to like the forests, because there's the pine forests, uh, maple forest, burnt forest, snow forest, and then there was the wasteland. I think I'm missing actually, there was another mo uh, well, another biome as well. But I really like the variety. And if you wanted to build on like a flat, flat, flat surface, you'd go to the plains biome. And in starvation mod, you, uh, we actually had like a ton of hyenas and stuff there. It was awesome. Hyenas and rhinos. It was basically like the, uh, the savannah biome. Thinking back of how much this game has changed over the years. It's insane. But it does feel like this game has been out for like 15 years or more. And then, then they say no, uh, they just uh, celebrated their 10th ten, uh, year anniversary. But we'll go to show how messed up time is with all of the lockdowns and stuff. You lost time, so just everything feels longer and shorter and... Um, a mixture of the two, long and short. Ooh, that was a bit of lag. Yeah, why that I saw before. Okay, cheese will make cheese. Say cheese. And then we'll go and do ground cooked beef. Burger. Burger. Oh, what's it called? Why? Oh, it's not called burgers. So I call 243 double cheese. Okay, so I need cheese, animal fats, I need ground beef, and I need mushrooms. Are you telling me I don't have any mushrooms? Come on, man. What if the trader's selling some? I'm actually craving a cheese sandwich. It's 2 a.m. in the morning. I should really not be eating this late. Hmm. I'm actually losing, uh, starting to lose weight now. I can even see in my face, like the line over here. So I want to make sure I don't, like, eat at wrong times and stuff. And that's also why that, uh, like I said, my twin brother and I went for a breakfast and we ate so much. But it was basically mostly protein. You did it. Great. Job, okay, don't want to go that far again. We'll read that, that one. There needs to be a list of like 20 POIs you can go to. There's always just four, uh, five of a certain one and that's it. So there's no room for um, playing high school. We haven't done that one yet. I'm grateful for everything you've done. Nope, I'll have to start a farm it seems. I should have probably checked if there was a mushroom POI they before I did um, the school just now. I have to do the school first though, because if I cancel that now, I'm going to lose the school. But basically, if I can eat the double cheeseburger and I can also use the XP elixir, I will level up a lot faster. I actually want to go see what uh, Alpha 22 entails. I haven't seen any of the update videos of, on it yet at all. Oh, I just got to the edge of the map. The top, most northern part of the map. Gave me radiation. I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> I wonder... Huh. If everyone uh, was like, uh, yeah... Uh, well, well, we're done. Well, that's I, I don't know. But it, the max level is level 500, so there's still a way ways to go. But um, uh, if uh, before Alpha 22, we uh, want to restart again, I wonder if we shouldn't try the, one of the new mods like Prepocalypse or something. Or we could try the Darkest Falls map, the 4K one, um, on the server. I don't usually play like the same mod video and stream, but like I said, that ma that map is awesome. Yeah, I don't know. It's, uh... 
I'm not sure what mods are out there yet. Like we, it, even something like, uh, what was that? The Asia mod? Yeah. But I don't know how people would actually simple? like though. Yeah, it's it's very, the, the, uh, the POIs are super far away from each other. You have to run on foot. There's no vehicles, no, you could tame a horse, but it's like a massive process. And most of the, it's basically like fighting demos. Most of the zombies have like a lot of armor on them. But if you're okay with that, then it's, uh, it's easy enough to uh, play it. It is one of the more, uh, it's, I, I'd say actually it's a, like an early game grind game. Because of the fact you have to run far, you only have like wooden clubs and stuff, and you have to do quests to upgrade. It, it's a cool concept, but uh, there's not enough to it to uh, make it fun for a server, I think. I actually yeah, really enjoyed the mod, don't get me wrong. It's just it needs more. Uh, apparently they wanted to add so that you can have samurai armor and stuff as well. But for some reason, uh, they said something about copyright issues and the fun pimps wouldn't let them. So yeah, that, that's a whole missed opportunity there. Sounds like a fun pimp thing to do. I guess it's their game if they don't want to change that much then. I wonder if they're afraid of the chance that someone uh, creates a version of the game that's more popular than the base game. Which is pretty much all the mods at this point. <laughs> like, how would they know? Like, Darkness... You, you can't tell me more people play vanilla than Darkness Falls. You'd actually be surprised at how many people play vanilla. How many people don't even know about mods? There's actually a massive vanilla market out there. People really enjoy just the default game. But I like the variety the mods bring to the game. If you look on Facebook and like other streaming services and stuff, there's a lot of people streaming vanilla at the moment. What's funny is you go on Twitch and the people who are streaming seven days that get the most views are from Russia. I, uh, I also see a lot of like Japanese uh, streamers and stuff. Chinese, yeah. I mean, I saw one Japanese dude uh, make a base in Darkness Falls. It was like pillars like so and so and so. It's the zombies who had to fall through the cracks and then they get uh, sliced and diced on the way down. But that was back before the Demon Lord and stuff was introduced. Now, there's no way a base design would work like that. Bills, nothing to spend. I'm only level 69, man. I need to play more. Hopefully, I can get the burgers going um, next time and I'll be able to level up a little bit faster. Six minutes, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to put a stream here for you guys. If you guys liked the stream, please like it with your friends. Comments, tips, and feedback. What do you guys think about this mod? Uh, about the bosses, the gameplay, the progression? Leave your comments down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please don't hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more 7 Days to Die.